Hello, and what is good? We're here, we're ready at long last to play Pokemon Legends Arceus. There we go. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Arc, as in an arc. That's how it's pronounced. Um, what's up, y'all? It is Best of 2022 Watch. We're out here playing the latest games in search of the greatest games. Y'all already know who it is. I'm me, Jay Garcia, aka Game Onesis, and we're about to get going on this game. I did play a little bit last night because how could you not? It's such a big deal release. I'm a huge fan of Pokemon and I've been looking forward to this for, for a while with a little bit of apprehension. And honestly, it's way too early for me to have really any opinion on this, but I'm excited to dig more into it. Um, and I ended my playtime yesterday wanting to play more. Um, that being said, I did not a whole lot, but I did some of the more boring stuff of the opening story and like, you know, I chose my starter and I did all that stuff. So I actually think it worked out quite nicely where we can sort of, I'm making sure that audio is not bleeding into my mic. Um, we can sort of just start off here and, uh, you know, have fun with it at this point. Let me also check if they, if they have settings, regular, regular, regular settings, because it'd be nice to lower the game audio is normally what I do settings. Uh, here we go. Oh, it's already at like a seven. I think we can maybe do like a six. That should be good. And turn up the alerts a little bit. I think we're pretty much good. Ooh, one thing I did want to do is, um, make sure that my redemptions are all good. I think all my redemptions are here. The normal ones I have. Yeah, okay, that's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop a quick link in Discord and then we'll get started here. But pretty excited to uh, dig more into this and definitely excited to hear what people's thoughts are now that it's finally out and around um, and we're hanging out. What's up, Clevo1989? Thank you for the follow. Uh, let me go over to, I really wanna get a robot to do this so that it's not me. If we go to my content, at viewer, boom, there's my link. Um, all right, let's, Get going with this, close out some tabs, and I think we're all set here. All right, so this is me in the game. I went ahead and already um, changed my hair. I gave myself curly hair, I gave myself glasses. I do think the glasses look kind of ugly, but it was like an older time, so I don't know if glasses really looked all that great at the time. That kind of is what it is. Um, you have like some storage stuff going on here. This is your house. And that's basically that. So I've done pretty much nothing other than the very beginning intro stuff of, hey, you fell through the sky, you ended up here in this land, um, forgot the name of the town offhand, and you're, you know, okay, you gotta earn your keep, let's go, you're working now. Um, one thing that really struck me in that first, like, hour I guess I spent with it is how quickly you can get stuff like hair um, and clothes, I think that's pretty fun. And then also how mean everyone is in town. Everyone in town fucking hates your guts. Uh, you're this weirdo who is potentially cursed. Like it's the vibes are really negative. Uh, Am talk off, what's good? Yo, I'm trying to decide if I will get this game. So I'm glad you're streaming it. I'm glad I could could help and that the stream could be of more tangible value to you. Yeah, this is this will be a good look at what the gameplay is actually like. When with that being said, what what do I have to do right now? So I have my. What do we have here? I think I can see my quests. This is my Pokedex. And I think my quest, tasks with unreported data. I think that's like mainline quest stuff where I can report my data. Let's just go here, there's a waypoint. There's waypoints here, which is like kind of a trip. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Uh, what's up, Nonversation? Yo, it's a show. Oh, hi, it's good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Um, Aaron J. Bear says, yo, Janet, I haven't started this just yet but already more excited for it than Brilliant Diamond when I just finished. And then the real Klong says, Pokemon, Pokemon, gotta catch them. Okay, um, so this says getting to work on research tasks, head to Obsidian Fields lands and speak to Professor Laventon about research tasks. So I guess we just click here and we just kind of quickly fast travel on over. Oh, and thank you for the sub as well. Coming in with the six months on a six month streak. You love to see it. Um, but yeah, let me know in the chat, y'all. Where's what's the hype levels for Arceus? Did you buy the game? Are you looking forward to it? I'm a Pokemon out here. We got the Pokemon dress on. We got the um, Pokemon mug that I bought from GameStop like a year ago. Uh, and Laventon says, "Righto, let's get to it. Then shall we?" 
In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need um, you to carry out, my girl. Hey, Gary, uh, get back. <laughs> Kessel, uh, Kessel winks. Hey, Gary, bet badly on the Arceus thing. Shout out to Boofy Games. Yes, uh, for those of you who don't know, I am in a fantasy critic draft. I'm actually in two of them, one with my friends and then one with my coworkers, who I'm also friendly with, um, over at Kind of Funny. And Gary counterpicked Pokemon Arceus from me, which means he was banking on it getting reviewed seven or lower um and it's it's well well into the eights at that point uh i've been watching zfg play it and small uh there's small issues but the game is fun okay cool good to hear that non non-versational um i'm just getting started with it so i people have been asking like what do i think what do i think and i'm like i like it so far but i literally played like 30 minutes played four good to see you um what's good this is my first pokemon and i'm really enjoying it so far nice are you planning on picking up dying light 2 I am, I'm already playing it. I can't say anything else, but I am playing and reviewing it for Pendapixels, uh, Disquid, Scarpino. So watch Pendapixels for that review. Um, it's actually why I'm not streaming tomorrow, because I need some time for the review. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex at any time for your reference. Okay, so research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number and variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex then check what kind of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. When you've focused on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research tasks for that species by pressing down the down button to open the Pokedex right onto the page. Some Pokemon have unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. This is really where it starts to deviate, I think, from what we're used to in Pokemon games, where they're really focusing on this research thing. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. No one has drafted Dying Light for the Fantasy League. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, that is a good point. That has not been drafted yet. We'll see what the... I can't. I literally can't say anything about the game, so like I like don't want to even give any level of hint towards my opinion on that game. But that is a good call out that no one's drafted that. I am, I am keeping an eye, though, on things that haven't been drafted yet and trying to get some easy pickups. I know, no Outer Wilds tomorrow. It's sad. Oh, oh! Streaming this game and it made you cry. That sounds good. We can we can start now. Yes, we can. Um, the whole Yakuza series is literally top tier. The story can't be beat. Do do do. That's one I still haven't gotten to. Maybe one day we'll do it as the Saturday streams. Um, now there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share. Uh, the new King of Fighters game seems good. I'm just not fighting in person, but it you know. Definitely fair. While Pokemon may attack you at any time, when they do dodge, like your life depends on it. Dodge? Look, just watch me, would you? Then you'll be able to copy what I do. Also, I'm getting, um, I'm getting, uh, rival vibes from this guy. Like, does anyone else feel like this person is, like, gonna stab you in the back? See, that's how you dodge. I, I hate this guy. Um, a timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by the face attacks of wild Pokemon. That's the key. You'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. I feel like that's the meme potential there is crazy. Nice Pokemon dress your shirt. Yes, it is. It's a dress from Black Milk, um, whatever that is. I appreciate the the not knowing. No one should bet against Pokemon reviewing bad. <laughs> yeah, that's what I felt like. And I'm really happy that it's it's hitting around that eight plus range because I'm getting like hella points off Pokemon. Um, when those Shinx got me with Thundershock, I've, I might have been done for if the security corpse hadn't come and saved me. But hey, no need to worry. You've got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. The tutorial vibes. So again, we're really in those early bits. All the, th the only thing I did yesterday was um, start up, go through the opening cutscenes and pick my starter, who I picked Syndical, of course. I had Nick for every time I woke up black on the field. Exactly. Uh, nice non-denominational top. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Um, okay. Well, I feel like people do that because otherwise you're like, nice shirt, and it's, like, it's actually a jumper attached to, like, my ankles, and, you know, I feel it. I understand. Uh, get ready for some survey corpse wisdom. It's so quiet. There's, like, no background music. Focus on a Pokemon with ZL, then press the down button over the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. It's Bidoof. The Bidoof propaganda continues. Pokemon Company wants Bidoof to be the new Eevee. Uh, do you see that research task for Bidoof? Include, include one about how many you've caught. That's right. Catching just one won't do it. You've got to get two, three, four, then more. 
I'm not interested in having four Beedus. I'm going to be honest. Um, and when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now. That's not as, like... Right. Beedoof is so cute. Beedoof is cool, but, like, it's clear the Pokemon company has an agenda there. So, okay. So, it says, getting to work on research tasks. Follow Ray or Rai to learn some tips to carrying out research tasks. Okay. I mean, is my first one going to be... the? Okay, so it's ZL to focus. And then I just hit down. Okay, so number of times caught. So, I need to catch it a number of times. The completionists are, like, reeling their minds right now. Um, so I'm trying to make Bidoof... Exactly, they're trying really hard with Bidoof, and it's very obvious. Number of heavy specimens? How do I know how heavy... What is a heavy Bidoof? What am I aiming for there? Uh, number of different forms, number of times defeated, number you've evolved, investigate the Bidoof that bother the village, method unknown? Um, okay, I mean, I guess I'll aim for... Number of times defeated? Right? Like, is that what we should be? Oh, and then is it... Should I just start fighting it? I don't know if this is what I should be doing, but... I think it's pretty cool that you can walk around during the fights as well. Oh, he's burning! Oh! Beedoof is my son. He's my favorite baby boy. Don't diss my son or I'll have to release a diss track on you. Oh my god. So much. Subject, so, how's Arceus? It's going, it's going. Oh, oops, I, that's my turn. Let's try quick attack. It's it's coming together. Okay. Boom! Oh god. Okay, so then that's like a Bidoof task, right? Sure, right? I don't know. We'll run up to this guy and see if that was good. I gotta go on one and change out these work clothes, but I'll be lurking. Yeah, I appreciate the lurk. Also, it's Friday. I keep reading it's Friday. It's best of watch, y'all. I know I'm laying it on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon. Check your research tasks. Just hold ZL and down. Try checking your tasks for Starly next. Okay. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? Um, you can get that done if you hide in some tall grass. Give it a try. Um, I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you've finished. Uh, La Bamba said, Gengar. <laughs> what's up, La Bamba? Uh, I mean, Leafeon. What's up, Janet? How's it going? I mean, Leafeon. Appreciate the emotes. Okay, so that's Star Whoever. Okay, this is a stealth game now. And then let's swap it over to the Pokeballs. Either be Scyther or Psyduck. Oh, question for Janet in chat. Yeah, this makes more sense now. If you could be any Pokemon, who would you be? Um, I like Bulbasaur. I feel like Bulbasaur is cute, useful, um, eco-friendly, potentially. Like, I forgot the arrows mean something, too. Like, how easy they are to catch or something. I'm out here strafing. Like, it's super serious here. Boom! Uh, R2, thanks for the follow. Okay, get in the ball. Get in the ball! Yeah, I love to sparkle. Oh my god, they're cute. Oh shit. Okay, no, okay, it's all good. Cool, um, and then we run over to our friend, I guess, now. At the risk of everyone, like, freaking out. Oh, who's this guy? Hold on, I want to talk to him. Oh gosh, is this game... Does it look better? The same? Or worse than Sword and Shield. Like, what's the vibes? I know everyone's been talking about that. Like, whether or not it's, like, just visually disappointing. The more energy a Pokemon's got, the harder it'll be to catch. If you battle a Pokemon and lower its HP, or may inflict paralysis, or maybe inflict paralysis with a move like Shinx's Thundershock, it could be easier to catch. Okay, I already knew that, though. I thought you were gonna, like, sell me something. I didn't play Sword and Shield, but I'm fine with this so far. Yeah, I think it, I think it looks better than Sword and Shield. I don't think it looks, like, mind-blowingly amazing. Like, I think it leaves something to be desired visually, but I think it looks a little bit better than Sword and Shield. Um, just generally. I'd have to boot up. I feel like if you boot up the games, it'd be like one clearly looks better. The art style is better. Okay, yeah. Maybe like the stylization is really the defining point, but they have kind of similar art. I don't know. 
I think it being spread out more too, you notice the pop in like less because it's like more spread out. It still has pop in, but I wish I had leafy on emotes. <laughs> that would be good. Um, looks better than I was expecting. I didn't play Sword and Shield either. Um, I like Sword and Shield. Big news for me this week, fell in love with a card game deck builder. Nice, officially a bigger nerd now and it's great. Oh, what's the game? Uh, Ray or Rai says, around here you can find a Pokemon called Buzel. It's got an aggressive disposition. How well do y'all know the Pokemon names? Because like, I find myself being like, oh, I've never seen this before. And people will be like, this was Gen 3. I've never, like, I don't remember seeing this guy over here. Slay the Spire. Oh, I hear, I, everyone I know loves Slay the Spire. The dangers of taking damage. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of your screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. Okay, this makes sense. Also, don't, don't mind my um, fidgeting. I have, I'm on my little board and I'm trying to determine what my ideal um, distance from the desk is. Okay, here we go. So there's that. If you take damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you become overwhelmed and black out. Okay. Speaking of your research tasks, Buzel, Buizel, I don't know, include seeing it use a certain move. You got to see the move in battle for it to count toward your task. So battling is extra key here. Go ahead, come catch up once you've checked off some of the tasks. Okay. But Weasel, we like Weasel, Weasel, Buzel, Fusel, Refusal, okay. So we got to switch off to, so with X, you just switch between your Pokeballs and your squad. There's like nowhere to hide. Oh God, oh, I should pick a different Pokemon. Oh God, who do I want? Oh, oh, oh my God, that's scary. Which, how do I throw it? How do I throw it? Ah, oh, oh, I forgot how to dodge. Oh God. Jeez, this game's kind of hard. Oh my God, this is just, okay, wait, 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 let's not get crazy. I'm trying to look at that Pokedex. Wait, what's going on? Where's my Pokedex? Wait, how do I see my Pokedex during this battle? Oh, maybe I can't, I don't know. Shoot, you can't? That sucks, I thought they said I could. Okay, well, let's just fight him and see what happens. We have to, like, see him do a certain move. So I don't think it matters, like, too much. Like, I don't think I was gonna, like, know what's going on anyway. How do I know what move he needs to do? I don't think you can't win battle. Also, dodge with a Y button. Thank you. What's up, Azebade? How's it going? Dodge, duck, dip, dive, dodge in that order, 100%. Okay, I don't think we saw the move we needed to see. Okay, so. Here we go. What's. Okay. Times you've seen it use Aqua Jet. Defeated with electricity moves. Okay, I don't think we can do like too much fancy stuff um, right now. Number of number of caught. We can catch one. That'd be fun. It's times you've seen you use Aqua Jet. Okay. Can this one even do Aqua Jet? I mean, I assume so. I, I think they wouldn't, they probably wouldn't set me up for that if. Okay. Can I like pick this up? Can I like mine this? Um, <laughs> there we go. That's my dodge. Okay. Okay. We got to find another one of these because I didn't do a whole lot with it. Okay. There's B Doof. Can I find another one of these? Hmm. What do we think is the easiest way to find more of these? I see a bunch of little rocks, but I don't know where I can see. Maybe just start heading towards that one dude. Oh, there's, no, that's a, that's a freaking, that's the warm one. I forgot the name of that one. Wormple, right? Remember making that up? We can always use these leaks. Okay, I'm gonna be doing my own thing then. Screw it. Oh. 
Let's see if we can just grab him straight up. I think if he like... Oh yeah, we got him. We got him, Wormple. Okay, but he wants me to do stuff with this like one Pokemon in particular. Let's just see if we go up to him. Maybe he'll be like, oh, you can find more somewhere else. Also, this tree thing. I'm like obsessed with it. Oh. 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 Yay. Good job. Yeah. I love that a lot about this game. How you can throw Pokemon into these trees and get the resources for you. You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. I feel like the music's really quiet. You can select the crafting kit from the key items pocket in your satchel to craft items wherever you, wherever, wherever you like. However, on like a workbench, you won't be able to use the materials in your satchel. You'll only be able to use materials in your satchel and you won't be able to hold, won't be able to craft more items than your satchel can hold. Okay. So it's like emergency on the go time. His recipe for potions too. Yeah, I feel like I hear like no music. What is with that? Is that just how this game is right now? Uh, with a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materials in your satchel. As long as you've got an ape, apricorn and a tumble stone, you can make a pokeball anytime. With the Oran berry and medicinal leek, you can whip up a potion. So heal up your Pokemon whenever they need healing. Research going all right? You can see if you've got tasks ready to turn in on your Pokedex's cover. Okay. Once you got some tasks done, go check in with Professor uh, Laventon. See you soon. I'm probably not saying their names right. Right? It's like really quiet. Let me see. I can turn it up, but it's like super quiet. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, it's not that it's not here. It's here, I think. Settings. Let's see. I mean, I can like, let's just go crazy with it and see what happens. It's still just pretty quiet. We'll probably have to turn that down though, because I'm guessing that's too loud. Hey, 19 months, Hyrule Shieldman with the sub. I appreciate it. Uh, let's go. Also, your character looks so cute. Thank you, right? I'm excited to get more clothes. I don't have any money right now, so I can't. Like, I spent all my money on my hair, and um, I planted, like, something in, like, a field or something. I don't think there's any background music, which makes things seem eerie. Yeah, I'm, like, kind of surprised and bummed that there's no background music. That seems kind of weird. Uh, let me know if it ever gets, like, crazy loud, though. Um, I'll bring it down a little bit. But I just turned it up to, like, max, because it was like really, really quiet. I think when I battle, there's music though, right? Should I just walk back or should I like travel back? Like fast travel. What is fast? What's the fast travel vibe look like? It would be down here, I think. Oh, maybe it wouldn't. No, this is my Pokedex. Oh, it'd be the map. Can I just like immediately zoop back, get working on research tasks? Hmm. Just started the game, but I'm enjoying it. Um, but also not impressed, but with, wait, but the performance of the world. With the performance of the world, I think is what, what you mean, right? Yeah, that's fair. Wait, wait, this is the professor, right? Like, I can tell him, like, hey, I have stuff. Yeah, the lack of background music is very odd to me. I feel like it's, is it me? I don't think so. Hey, just a heads up, it took me hours to figure out. You can... Do the, oh, thank you, Real Klong. I was wondering, I'm like, how do I like mine these? Like what's going on? Um, oh no, if it isn't a crafting kit, you must have listened it's attentively to Ray or Rai's teachings. Excellent work, dear girl. That's a great tip. Talk about like things it doesn't tell you. I mean, maybe they tell you at one point, but programming music is only consistently good thing in every game. So this is weird. Yeah, I find it really odd. It's so quiet. <laughs> Why is it so quiet? Uh, when you submit survey reports, you'll receive money based, okay, based on the level and number of Pokemon you caught. Um, you'll receive money if you fulfill certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. Okay, we're about to get paid. On that note, let's check your research task completed thus far. Okay, I've been like working, just wait. Boom, a grand, a little cheap, I feel like, but okay. 
Yeah, it took my stew about too long to figure out. It's how you get the tumble stones to craft more Pokeballs, so it's something you kind of need to know. They finally put some music under here. Mm-hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tasks and submitting survey reports, you'll raise researchers' level of the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise Pokemon's level to 10, that entry will be considered complete. Uh, if you have unlocked all the details to be had with that species. I will say this is an interesting way to think about the Pokedex. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I feel like it adds some like zest to it. Pokemon World doesn't believe in working for free. I mean, they also believe in not like existing for free though. They're like, you're gonna work. I also find it interesting in this game, you're 15 years old. Is this the oldest you've been in a Pokemon game? I feel like everyone's consistently like 12. So I'm like, why am I 15? Also, I still look 12 to me. So I don't know. What I want is like Pokemon, you're 22 and like you can like drink with your Pokemon and like hang out and you're like best friends trying to, you know, make it in like a crummy apartment. Like that's what I want. Um, let's see. Ah, not quite yet. I'm afraid you'll need to complete a few more research tasks before you're ready to rank up. I'd recommend you work your way through Bidoof's and Starly's tasks first. Hang in there. I don't remember, um, but I think black and white, you were older. No, Pokemon Eldritch, you eventually remember that you're 10,000 years old. Is that true? Or are you making- wait, what? Pokemon Eldritch? No. You're just making stuff up. The Elder God? I'm actually- I've actually been dead the whole time in this game. There's no Pokemon Eldritch. Yeah, I, I parsed that much out. I'm like, wait a minute. This is like the one. Is this the only mainline game where there's only one skew? You're 15. They're like, unless you're useful. I'll throw I thought that was crazy. When they threatened to kill me, that's when I really thought the game had gone off the rails. I'm like, I don't know. OK, um, let's see. Is this a mainline game? It is officially a mainline game. Yes. A lot of people don't consider it to be a mainline game because they're like, yeah, but like it's weird. I'm like, no, it's it's officially mainline to the creators, so I guess you can't ask for too much more than that, right? Like Pokemon Sun and Moon characters had some had some legs, so maybe older than twelve. Oh god, get away from me. Get away from me. Okay. Number of times evolved, number of different forms attained. I guess we just catch more, maybe? Right? Because I don't think we're gonna find different forms here. Investigate the Bidoof that bothered the village. I think that's kind of interesting. Okay, I think let's just work on catching more slash defeating more, I guess. Let me go ahead and let's square up. Sun and Moon was 11. Um, I've been complaining about Pokemon not letting me be 30, but having to battle 40 to 50 year olds for a while. I'll be interested in like light no spoilers if you will yeah, oh hold on. Now it's too loud. <laughs> oh, they don't let me change the setting while I'm in battle. Oh no. Okay, is it like crazy too loud or is it actually not too loud? Let me know. Because if it's not too loud, we just leave it like this forever, but if it is too loud. It's okay for me. Right? I think it's like a, a hair too loud, but. It's mostly fine. Loud but not right, like you can still hear me talk, I think. As long as y'all can still hear me. That's good enough to me. It's a little loud. Do we want to do one down? It's okay for now. We'll leave it. If that happens like really regularly, we'll maybe change it down to like, right now I have the volumes at 10. We can put it down to like nine. Okay, hold on. Let's try to catch more, I guess, right? Like, oh, let's hide in this grass. Even though I feel like he definitely sees me. Oh, oh. I think I threw like eight of them. Yay! Okay. All right. Oh yeah, I also have to kind of focus on the mainline stuff right now because I have um some tasks to do. I'm doing the deepest dive on Minimax where um, it's our in-depth show on different games and our current deepest dive, our next deepest dive is Pokemon Arceus. Or Arceus, um, that's going to be a problem the entire time for me, I think. And I want more of the Beedoofs. I want more of the Beedoofs. Where are the rest of them? There they are. Um, I need to do like the first like main boss thing situation. Try to catch another one. 
No. Maybe like Wormple. We could like Wormple it up. Oh, and this is the one I want because you're the one that made a fool of me. There we go. Oh, what? Oh. Okay, fine. Rowlet's popular. I dig it. Yeah, Rowlet all the way. I'm a grass boy. Rowlet. I'm picking Rowlet. I like Rowlet. Oh, what happened? Oh, I like looked away from the screen. I think I think it just ran away. Well, all right, B doof. There's another one. There's another one. There we go. Only time I picked grass was when they had so Sobble was kind of rough. I think I did pick Sobble though, ultimately. Ooh, poison. I do love poison. Well, beat it was poison. Oh, what? They keep running away. They were gonna say you picked Grookey, and I was gonna be disappointed. Yeah, I think I did pick Sobble, actually. I didn't like any of them that much. Um, I had, like, beef with all of them. So I was like, well, I like water. I think I also liked Sobble's evolution a little bit more. With Sword and Shield. This one I liked almost all of the um, starters. I was, I'm not a big fan of um, Oshwalt or whoever. Um, ignoring personal choices, it's certainly always better to pick grass because there's uh, there are plenty of cool Pokemon that are water and fire. Uh, I don't like any. Didn't like any of so Oshawott. Oshawott. It sounds like a like a Spider-Man villain to me, right? Like a little bit. Um, I like that he says plish plosh, and I also hate that he says plish plosh. I'm like very torn on the whole thing. But yeah, I like Cyndaquil. And now they got the music in here, okay. Okay, this feels more correct to me. Wait, so then I can just... Wait, who? Okay, Starly, what do we got? We have Catch Without Being Spotted as one. Oh, great. Great. I picked Oshwat. I feel like I'm so butchering his name because he's my little seal buddy. That's cute. That's a good reason. Maybe you're thinking of Poplio to, to Nathan. I picked. Oh, yeah. Yep. Pop Poplio, yes. Oshwat is the. Well, what is Oshwat? He like he's not like a penguin. What is he like a little? He's like a little otter, right? Yeah, because he has a little uh, the little um, seashell on his belly. That's like really the only reason I knew he was an otter, to be honest. Okay, here we're gonna try this thing with our new information. Yay! Good job. Good job, baby. Weird that he becomes a monster samurai. Definitely an otter. Otter. The otters are coming in. It's all otter. Oop. Okay. Ooh. Oh, here's another. We have another friend. I guess we can just try to catch more of them. Oh, oh. Please. Yay! Okay. Okay, good. We had thought seals were otters still a second ago. He's an otter. Yes, he is an otter. We have determined that much. Otter confirmed. Fight! Oh, they're so cute. I like that they can do that. I want to see that in every Pokemon game moving forward. Okay, I can walk through the water a little bit. Squirtle's a turtle. I feel like this is gonna be like powerful as fuck though. What's with the red eyes? Oh no, I don't think we can do that. We shouldn't even be looking at this Pokemon. But I'm like really curious. Oh god. Oh, you're so beautiful though. No way in hell. Why not? Let's just die today. Why not? Not a fan of the M Embor and Monferno's armor style. Uh, took a thing for the sub out here with the 
13 months total, 9 month streak. We know we're, this is gonna kill us. Oh, it can see us. It can see us. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, it's mad. It's mad. It's big mad. Whoa! It's filled with wild might. Whoa, level 40 by uh, Bidoof is not... Bye, Bidoof. No, see ya. Mm -mm, bye, Doof. Yeah, I just... Mm -mm. Garbage is not supposed to be that scary. That thing was scary as hell. Mm -mm. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Bidoof ain't gonna make it out this one, and I'm not gonna be around for it. Okay, this is this is somebody we can fight. This is more our speed right here. This guy. Yeah, that's this seems like a even playing field here now. Okay, use your water move, please. Do your water move. But this still thanks for the sub. Maybe if I used a fire Pokemon, it would do the water move. Okay, let me try to switch to Cyndaquil and see if that helps. Do the water move. I can't believe you abandoned your boy like that. Look, Bidoof, you're just here for the gig, man. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It was never that deep. Um, this might, I hope this doesn't kill it. I mean, if it does, that's its own form of XP. Do the water move. Do your water move. Maybe I need to just catch one and get it to be able to do it. Maybe it can't do it yet. Decided to play as a girl, uh, I'm a dude, because the entire customization for girls is more interesting and unique in games. Yeah, I have that conversation, like, fairly regularly. You know what, it probably can't even do this move. I'm gonna just kill this thing and then... ...leave it at that. You're burning up! Ow! <gasps> oh my god, he died! That's why you got, you got fucked up with him. Boom. I find it weird they turn into this medicinal le like leak over here. Can I fix my boy? Can I save him? Can I revive him? Oh god. Oh no. Bye. You know what though? Maybe I can just catch you like straight up. Like, oh god, you're running real fast. Oh! Oh! Pokemon are mean! Oh no, it's like, it's like done being... No, fight! Fight for me! Oh gosh. Well, wild horses are scary, you're telling me, I mean... Oh my god, this thing is like, out for the kill. No, we gonna gust it up. You're gonna be all gusted. Maybe just a quick attack, and then I'll try to catch it. Okay, so then I go do items, right? I feel like there's an easier way to do that, so let me know if there's an easier way. Uh, I played as a girl because I couldn't get the male character to look anything like me. Yeah, I hate when they have, like, um, locked, like, ha like hair and clothes and stuff. I also really like how you can move in the battle. I appreciate that as well. Okay, so this is my new best friend. Where is he? He's like not in my little rotation. Uh, Kamikaze, thanks for the follow. Oh God, Drifloon. What is your level though? Like, are we supposed to be with each other? Like, are, oh God, uh, -uh. no, see you. I don't think any of these Pokemon have the sauce to fight you, to be honest, but what if they did? Okay. What level are you? Level four? Okay, I feel like we could do level four. Why are there two though? Okay. Can I even hit you with this? Oh, I can. Okay, good, good. But now he's like only gonna use that. Don't hit yourself though. Another tip, you can lock with ZL onto a Pokemon to see their level before the battle. Oh, thanks. I think I only vaguely remembered that I could do that. Like, not enough to remember to do it before. Shoot. 
Oh god, it died. Oh, but I'm fighting both of them at once? <gasps> Did it die? Did mine die? No, no, it's still alive. Okay. Okay, good. I'm just gonna take... We're gonna... Let me know how I can throw the ball more easily. Stealing children together, that is the... You know, no one else even needs to come out, to be honest. But we could bring out... Mm, let's bring out this one. Everyone's, like, dying for this this research. Uh, maybe it's just because I've spent the last two weeks playing PS3 games. <laughs> We haven't seen nearly as ugly as people making out to be, at least not on stream. No, I think it looks I think it looks pretty good. Um I think it could definitely look better. Um I'm not one to be like, oh my god, like this Nintendo game is really beautiful. Um It could definitely look better. I wish it looked better, but I'm not I'm not annoyed or bothered by how it looks personally. And I think it looks better than Sword and Shield, so you know, that's pretty nice. I'm down for that part at least. Okay, so Number caught at night. Oh, interesting. Okay. I think the thing I'm like cur most curious about at this point is oh hold on, let me let me try to choose destination. There we go. Is will this be will I like this loop enough of we're doing the research task? It's it's a very different way to like approach battling and catching, and I'm not sure. That leaf was too ugly for my eye. People really do feel that way. They're like, I can't look at this tree anymore. Like I'm just gonna shut down the console. I'm like, alright, I mean I guess, but when I rest, do my Pokemon also rest? Let me just do just a little while and see what happens. Dance character got that drip. Thank you, Vivi Meech. I did spend the first time I got a chance, I went to the hair salon and I went to the clothing store and I'm like, I'm not wearing this ugly ass uniform. Your party, okay, good, yeah, okay. That does rest everybody. Okay, that's good. Um, need to switch up your Pokemon or buy items? Best to be prepared. I want to see my Pokemon. Yeah, I want to bring, um, I want to bring you, oh my god, yay, and I'm going to switch you with this one. Also, I don't need two star leaves either, and I want to bring you, we got so many beetles, like, why do we have so many, why do we have so many, should see a doctor about that, <laughs> oh my god, so you've caught four Pokemon, care to report your findings? Here are my findings, the research tasks I did. And name one after me. Can you bring two Beedoofs? <laughs> I could. I haven't named them yet. I actually don't know how to name them. If anyone wants to tell me, they can. Um, look at the baby! I love this baby! I think Rebecca said you name them in, the, in your menus. I imagine so, right? I think you have the ability to mass release Pokemon later, so I just wait, release extra Pokemon until you get that. So I just wait to release the extra Pokemon. Okay, cool. Um. Doom doom. You've made good progress on these research tasks. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Celine. It's time you earned yourself a star. Okay, yay. Good, because I'm like not, not shit in this world and I don't like the feeling. Not the worst load screen, but there is a load screen. Jubilee Village, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Hello. You'll notice I'm not wearing the uniform you gave me. If you progress, if you have progress report, I will judge its worthiness. That's so dramatic. Uh, I really like the vibes of the game. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I'm en I'm enjoying it. Um. Okay. Wait. What do we do here? I mean, do I just like? I showed it to you, you know what I mean? Like, there you go. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Dun -dun -dun. Damn, there's a lot of stars left. Look at all the stars you have. Jay, I'm missing you on Kind of Funny Games Daily. Oh, thanks, Don't Patch Ash. I appreciate that. I miss being on Games Daily as well. We'll see if, um, like, when I can 
fill in for things. Oh my god, I chose the same hair. Yeah, it's the only, it's the closest to my hair they had, which is actually pretty close. I should have actually tried to do this hairstyle. That would have been really cute, but I like didn't think about it until this second. Um, we'll have to do a cosplayed version. I gotta check out Jan's solo content. Oh, thanks, Phoebe Meech. Love it with the headband. Oh, I haven't tried it with the, head the little white headband. Uh, the rewards you earn for your survey reports will now be more generous too. Okay. Uh, I have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Okay. I'm excited to like really dig into this game though. Like I'm not sold, 100% sold in the loop. I One thing I do like about it though is that at least it, it is different. Um, like I don't know what to expect um, and I'm excited for what comes next. Like eating these like recipes slowly. And I like seeing the ways that they have like deviated from the formula and the things they've kind of like changed up. I wish they had mid lane hair. I'm rocking a bob right now and there's nothing close. Yeah, like I kind of had a similar thing where I chose this because it's labeled as curly hair, but it's like curly hair that's like made into little buns. Um, yeah, what's your first jam? I mean, I don't, I think we're just here for the vibes, you know, we're like hanging out. Um, I do know there's that first boss, which is what I need to work towards. No, also no red hair. I get that you wouldn't hear every color is like blue, but no red. Yeah, like I just, I always want more from almost every game in terms of customization. Yeah, flourish among like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through the ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it. And even if you did fall from the sky, people will be more than willing to accept you. They are obsessed with that. I mean, I understand, right? But they're obsessed with the fact that I fell from the sky. Like that's all anyone ever talks about. Like I'm so much more than the bitch that fell out of the clouds. And I just feel like no one sees me for me. You know what I mean? Uh, working your way through the ranks will also help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. What's in that back room over there? Complete. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Waffle. Yo, I've been, tr okay, I'm excited about this though, because I spent my first night with the game, which I only played like an hour, plus or minus. Um, I like went through the town, like I got my hair cut, and I went to the store, and I went to the photo department, and like I couldn't like eat at the Wallflower, like they like didn't let me eat there, and now I can go. Like you have no idea how excited I am to eat this fucking Wallflower restaurant. Um, hey, call me easy, but I, um, I was excited that I could be black. <laughs> no, I had that same conversation with Isaiah when the game was booted up because the character selection has not always been great. Um, thought we were just supposed to be done, essentially. Hi, Jan and Game. I suppose it means, uh, to be fair, I, if I fell from the sky, I would never shut up about it either. <laughs> You're like, I get it, but it's like, you know, I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning first rank. Also, I want to make... I want to make the potato mochi so badly. Like, I have so many plans to make that. Hey, by the way, have you taken on that request uh, so-and-so had? I don't know. Well, most people here don't know much about Pokemon, you've noticed, right? So it's our job as the Survey Corp to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. We're basically Pokemon problem solvers, indeed so. Some people ask you for help when you talk to them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Mm, okay. Speaking of which, Weren't you approached recently with a request recently, Ray or Rye or whoever? What's it all about? That one might be a better fit for Janet than me. This is definitely like giving, I got a job I don't want, I'm giving it to you vibes. I don't think I'd be able to pull it off unless I get better at piling Pokemon first. Ah, uh, yes, the request came from my of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in uh, Hisui. Is that how you say it, Zoe? Since before the Galaxy team arrived, if we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. Doom, 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 doom. Let me make the potato mochi. The next day. Janet, before I go uh, meet Mai about that request, mind showing me how you do in battle? Sure. Galaxy team, team rocket. Ooh. Yo. 
No, but like maybe though, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's all connected. Okay. Oh, great. I'll be at the trading grounds. If you've been catching lots of Pokemon, you can change up your team at the pastures, just so you know. To be fair, the villain team in Diamond and Pearl was called Team Galactic. They're always called... It's always something with space. Space is horrifying. Oops, I don't know why I did that. Alright, to the training grounds. Let me know if y'all are buying these, like, charm buffs, too. Like, there's a lady, like, over here. Let me show y'all where she's at. There's a lady who hangs out, like, around here, I think. Where was she at? Where is this lady at? Huh. Oh my god. Maybe she doesn't sell all the time. There she is. I see her now. Hold on. Before I go to this guy. There's this lady. And she's like by the training grounds over here. And she sells these charms. And they're expensive as fuck. They're like $3,000. So I don't know if they're worth it. They're, they, they seem like buffs. Um, the logo for that team also kind of looks like the logo for your team. <laughs> oh no. Am I the villain? Thanks for taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. This is like also very much... A meme. I'm gonna be straightforward with you about something. I don't understand how everyone can handle taking on Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a Survey Corps member and I even got my own partner, but I just can't do it. That's right. Take a look at my very own partner. <gasps> it's Pikachu! It's Pikachu. This is my Pikachu. During the Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight on my side, but my mind went blank. Pikachu! It's Pikachu! Um, and really, when you get right down to it, Pokemon Terror- Okay, I am so tired. I've only been playing for like, what, you know, maybe two hours total or something. This is like the fourth time someone used the phrase, Pokemon are terrifying. Like, it's the only way they know how to describe it. Everyone's been like indoctrinated by this. It's too much. Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? But watching you at work completing those research tasks convinced me. If I want to do my Survey Corps work well, my partner and I have to be a good team. Our first step to being a real team is to battle your team. Oh my god, so cute. So cute. Oh man, like I... He's lucky I didn't pull up with these eight beatus I have. Are you gonna explain why... Uh, are they gonna explain why Pokemon is fictional dog fighting? No, probably not. Why is Drifloon out here? Well, who said I wanted to pick this Pokemon? No one did, did they? Do we have anybody with water? Not really. We have this guy, but I don't think he... Does he even have a water attack? Oops. Let me just switch out. I don't know if that's a good idea, but... Oh god, oh god. Oh wait, why did I pick someone that's water-based? That's like the opposite of what I wanted to do. Just kidding. Yo, what's up, Game Nights? Hey, Wallaby, how's it going? Who do I have? I don't know anybody here. We have another electricity. We have flying. Oh, he's not even water. He's normal. Well, I guess he has like a water base. Um, Cyndaquil? Like, let's just go with Cyndaquil. Let's just go with Cyndaquil. Okay. Maybe we can inflict some burn or something. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh! Okay. I'm a little nervous about this now. Maybe I'm gonna die. Okay, here we go. Pikachu! That Pikachu was strong to level nine. I mean, battle decided? So he won, right? I mean, he like killed more people than I did. Okay, sure, yay. <laughs> Very curious to see what you think of Dying Light 2. I'm curious to see what I think of Dying Light 2 as well. Um, I'm excited to get to write something up for it. Hopefully, I hit the embargo okay. It's coming up pretty soon and I got the code like pretty recently. Like the day I posted about it was the day I got it. So uh, a lot to do. The way you fight alongside your Pokemon, you don't seem one bit scared of battling. We'll just have to catch up as best we can, right, Pikachu? Fair enough. 
Fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack, you see? That's why he normally stays in his ball. That's why the game is long. Uh, so many with the 500 hours. I think the actual how long to beat is, what they say, it was like 40 or something? Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have these things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how the battle goes. See, Pikachu here is an electric type, so like I don't want to use water like the dumb shit that I did. I'm, you know what? What if we just, I've never memorized this. I've never known this. Um, I've never, people are like, oh, don't you know that like ghosts can float through whatever? I don't know. I never remember. Who knows? I just thought the marketing was dumb as heck. It was, it was a rough day. Um, here are some examples of type of matches. Fire type, strong against grass. Grass, strong against water. Water, strong against fire. So you're the one, the new recruit everyone's talking about. Okay, okay. My name's Zizu, captain of the security corps. What's up, boy? How's it going? I see you got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zizu is a master of ancient martial art where you guide your Pokemon in battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. Oh, I'm interested. On one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in Oh, I remember this now from the marketing. Strong style, where the move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in Agile style. Oh, you're barely starting out. Hey, she has red hair, no fair. <laughs> yeah, that is interesting, isn't it? Um, but your Pokemon can act more quickly. Yeah, I did a little bit of um, the beginning yesterday off stream, and then I jumped in at like the first first like mission that you have like on your own where you already have your like starter. Uh, in truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Okay. Strong style moves, strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course regular moves, which is right for a given situation would direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. That's pretty cool. I like that. Once your Pokemon has mastered a move, you can have it use the move in either agile or strong by pressing L or R or the left or right button when selecting the move in battle. Sometimes your Pokemon will naturally master move and unlock these extra styles simply by leveling up. Agile style reduces the power of the move, raises the user's action speed, and uses more PP than usual. Um, strong boosts the power move, lowers the user's action, uses more. Okay. Toxic streamer plays game off tree. <laughs> I know. I know, right? I had to. Um, I was really excited to get to play yesterday, actually, because it's like the first time, it's one of the rare times in my apartment where everyone is interested in the game. Like Maggie was playing it, Edwin was playing it, I was playing it, Isaiah was playing it, and it was really fun. Yeah, um, I saw you post on Twitter and thought you'd be ahead of me by now. Oh yeah, nah, I just did that one little, I just wanted a little taste, um, and I saved the rest for stream. I was gonna save the whole thing for stream, but then I'm like, nah, I'm gonna wait. Um, and just do a little bit, you know, make sure most of it's on on the actual stream. You remember I mentioned it earlier. I'm heading down to see about Maya's request. Oh, her mouth weird. And by ready, I mean double checking what Pokemon you'll bring. And maybe even teaching uh, them some new moves from Zizu. Okay. Request from Mai. Okay, what is this request? Go to Obsidian Fields to meet my of the Diamond Clan. How much money do I have? Because I'm trying to drop some money. Ooh, like not even 3,000. Can I get more clothes? Let me see what kind of clothes I can get. I'm looking for some clothes. This is a different kind of store. This is the haircut place. This is the place for clothes. Hi, I just want to get more clothes, please. I hate these. Um, I find it weird that you have these little caps. Like, I think this is like the only kind of hat you have too. Oh, you have a <gasps> woven hat. It looks good. Okay. Ooh, the headbands are cute. Maybe these are the headbands you're all talking about. The headbands are cute. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm probably wearing that. <gasps> yeah, I'm going to wear this, but I need a lot more money to get that. Yeah, that's what we're getting. See, the headband looks outstanding with that hair. I chose the orange. Nice. I'm definitely going to get the... Okay, we need to get, like, a couple thousand dollars. The karate, I'm not as into. And then we'll probably switch up the sandals. Um, okay, cool. Now we know how much things cost. 
Obviously, I'm getting the Cyndaquil outfit once I can. Um, and just give me a little bit of time. Wait, am I, once I get my money up, it's gonna be a good time. Okay. Yeah, I just go here, right? Like, yep. Is it okay? I started playing as soon as it came out and played until I fell asleep, but the game was still on. <laughs> Cute. Ooh. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see? It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. That sounds not the way I think he intends it to. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will give it a surprise, make it easier to catch, or giving you the advantage once a battle starts. So there actually is, like, when I first caught my first Pokemon in this game, I, like, threw the Pokeball at Bidoof's butt, and I guess that was actually, like, a pro-level move. If you're part of the Sorbet Corps now, working to create the Pokedex as they are, as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Okay? Like, looking forward like you're gonna square up on me, or what? I've got this real great mushroom recipe, see? Okay, I'm trying to get this... Yeah, what's going on? I want this mushroom recipe. Oh, you're that girl from the Survey Corps who fell the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about the this great cake lure recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe, and I know it's a winner. Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are... I'm sure they want to give it a go, too. I'll teach you the recipe, and all you have to do is return. It's to spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you need to go get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrounge, not from the forages of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One spring of mushrooms, all you need. I'll be waiting. Okay. Mushroom cake marketing. I'm literally an influencer out here. The secret budget for hats. A little bit. Maybe I shouldn't actually have this be active right now. Okay. Um, let me actually look at what, my, what are my real quests here. Oh. Hmm. If you black out in the field, you may lose some of your items. Oh. This is so cute. You find the satchel that someone else lost. Be sure to pick it up. The satchel you retrieved will be returned to its owner and you can receive merit points. Oh. I want to do this. I've never wanted to do anything more. Okay, I should probably do stuff that I actually need to do, though. Um, how do I find this, though? I want to find this more than anything. Like, are you serious? Is there a way to track these? Richie Satchel. Okay. How do I find this, though? I really want to find this satchel. Like, this is my main focus. Nobody I didn't know this is a strand. Honestly, it's, it's giving strand game, and I'm kind of here for it. I kind of like that. Um, oops. Okay, what do we actually need to be doing, though? Because we're... Okay. We'll keep an eye out for those gifts, though. That sounds super fun. Okay, so... I'm um, not going to be here. It's going to be... The Pokedex stuff, maybe? No. Where am I like? Okay. Okay. Um, what? Oh, I was just like hitting L and R over and over again. Where do I see what I need to do? An icon on your map. An icon should be on your map for the other satchels. Ooh, really? Okay, hold on. <gasps> You're right. Oh my god. I'm so excited. No, I need to do this like right now. Hold on. Can I travel here or do I just have to walk here? We're just gonna... Do I have to just walk there? It seems like really far away. What is going on with these like red eyes? These eyes are trying. These eyes I've seen a lot of them, but they never seen one from the one that I had with you. Can you give me like a mini map? That would be like super useful. 
Oh, I mean, at least it pops up over here. Maybe I can, like, catch this one, because I think I have... Also, I'm holding L2, and, like, someone said that I can see the level before. I don't see the level. I must be doing something wrong, right? Wait, how do I see the level of the Pokémon before I fight them? Yeah! I need to start making some more of these, too. I think I can do that... How do they say I can make these? That I can craft? Ooh, how do I craft again? Ooh, does anyone remember how to craft? Because I'm almost out of Pokeballs. I should have like a pocket thing. I, just from here maybe? Okay. Wait, let me like make a bunch. Need to hold ZL and lock on. All right, well, I'll try it again. Obviously, I'm doing something wrong. ZL. I feel like I must not be locking on then. How do I? Damn, you can't let that go. ZL, not... you're probably too far away from the moment. Okay, that's fair. We'll try again. Well, let's get this satchel. This is what this is what it's really about. Also, I feel like- why do I feel like this satchel is gonna be located in the depths of hell? Like, if this person died here, like, they probably got caught up. It's probably where the Rapidash lives or something. That's right, this is what I'm trying to do. This is the life I'm trying to live right here. Yes! Wait, no, this is just wood, but I can use that too. Where is the satchel? Okay, I don't know where it is. Um... It's really close. Maybe, like, more this way? We're in the general vicinity. Where is the satchel? Where are the turtles? Okay, no, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Where is the satchel? Not Electro Buzz yet? I have not. You, okay, wait, no, the, you need to be close to the other thing, not the satchel. Where is the satchel? Check the trees? Oh, can they be in the trees? Okay, let's see. I'll check the trees for an Electro Buzz. Oh, okay. What does- just- is that related to the satchel though? Like... Like, where's the satchel? <laughs> Do not play games. <laughs> I know we're playing a game, but let's not play games today. Where is this thing at? Oh, can we zoom in more? We can't zoom in anymore. Where is it? Where is it at? Oh god, I don't know. What does it look like? It should just look like a little bag now. Uh, Tankster, thanks for the follow. Where are you? I mean, in, their, in the game's defense, it is a law satchel. Satchels are really hard to see. They're tan squares on the ground. <laughs> Ugh. Do I want to look longer? How much longer should I be looking for this? I gave up on them. Oh no! I really want to do it, though. The music's in here now, at least. Like, I really want to be... Can this Drifloon do this, though? Not this thing. Also, wait, wait, we learned the lock-on thing. Oh yeah, Wormpool. Okay, now I see it. We attack the worm, just cause? Like, just just because? Do we get sniper Pokeballs? <laughs> Maybe. Confusion's nice. I think they're on the map. They are, but like, I'm in the area. I just don't know where they are beyond that. I need to redeem my Pruriter bonus. Ooh, fun! What's the Pruriter bonus? Are there actually other players' level items? I don't think you're there yet. Really? Also, though, I wanted to... I wanted to get this. Come on, there we go. There we go. Yay! Good job, Balloon! 
Okay, so here's the issue. This is where the satchel's at. So it's gotta be like among the trees. You know what this needs? It needs that like freaking ping system that every other game has. How the game so far? I'm having fun. I like it. I like it. Um, I think I still need definitely more time to form like a more interesting opinion. But I think it changes things up enough that it's pretty fun. I'm excited for like as as I get more freedom and like the kind of quests I do and things like that and how I grind through the Pokedex. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like it. Where's the satchel at? I wonder if the Pokemon have lost items. Janet, did you know today is the one year anniversary of Jesus himself blessing us with award winning video game, The Medium? I didn't know it was the one year anniversary. The warmer behind you, right behind the flag. Can, do they take it? I found it! I found it! I found the satchel! I found it! 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 No, come back to your flute, it's fine. Yay! I found it! I found it. I found it. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. That was like way too hard. They need to make it sparkly or something. Like, I don't think they should just have it like that. That needs to be... I feel like that needs to be fixed. Um... Okay. I was... That was... I think I did actually end up throwing a Pokeball at the satchel, but you can just, I think, pick it up. Um, I threw it, like, near the satchel. It's so small. It's like... Let me try to... I don't even know if that recording is going to catch it. The satchel is too small. <laughs> um... But I don't know, at the same time, like, it did make it, like, exciting to find. Like, I don't know. Yes, give me that gift. That's right. That's right, let's go. Okay, so this is Obsidian. Richie's Lost Satchel. Like, I'm gonna clean up off of these people. Okay, let's see. Where's the satchel at? This is just sa the satchel stream. Where is Obsidian Fields? Maybe it's not like over here. This is Jubilee Fly. Obsid it's just anywhere? Maybe we don't know where the satchel is yet. Okay, we're gonna wait on that one. Okay, let's let's go back to what we're actually doing. Um, so my okay, mission. So missions and requests. Okay, so we have requests versus missions. Um, this one is. It seems okay. Current objective, go to um, Obsidian and meet Mai. Um, okay, so let's do that. Let's like do our actual job now that we found it. Now that we can l rest easy. Who is this? It's just another one of those birds. Yeah, it's just, no, it's Shinx. Okay, let's look at, what do you need? We've never defeated one, so that could be good. Oh, we should have, like, hit through the ball at, at the butt, but it's okay. Ooh, we like, strong versus, like, not. Let's try this strong style. This is- oh, shit! <laughs> the Joy-Con were just like, Whoa! Like, it was crazy. Oh, snap! Almost just dead. You fucked up. You fucked up. Oh, yeah, we got you now. We can Astonish, too. Let's... I don't know what Astonish even does. Boom! It's just me and my balloon. Uh, just found it. The pre is 30 heavy Pokeballs. Nice. Congratulations. That's why I love Ghost types. Ghost type is definitely one of, if not my favorite type of Pokemon. Ghost, I'm partial to. I like Poison as well. And um, for, like, the basic ones, uh, water. Like, between water, fire, and uh, grass. Water. Water. Okay, wait, where's the sh- Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Don't- No! Okay. Of course, Toxica Garcia, yep. You're, you already know. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can let you pass if you're first. Oh, at your rank you should be fine, go on. Uh, don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find some trouble. Okay. Maybe this is where the other satchel's at. Okay. I'm digging the loop now. I feel like I'm I'm in on this. Like, we're doing we're, we're finding satchels. 
We're, you know, grinding for the little research tasks. It's nice. And I will say it actually gives me like more purpose, I think. Um, it's definitely weird. It's definitely different. But I have more reason to be doing something. Target gave me a stationary. St Yo, that's dope. I have to look at this now. You're going to hear me typing. Did it really? That sounds really cool. Um, okay, let me look. Also, oh my god, they had so many crazy pre-order set. I'm looking at like uh, game8.co's pre-order bonuses, like all pre-order bonuses. Um, okay. Um, oh, there's like a mystery gift as well. Hold on, wait. Okay, anyway, let's just do, let me go through this. Not that it matters to me if you're new. Uh, if you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. You had the best, they got the, they got the Pokeball, nice. Um, you see the heavy balls, the cuties, the sitting cutie. A uh, special Komodo set, a virtual card. Some like decks and things. There's some, it gets really crazy at one point. People getting bowls and shit, like it just gets wild. Okay, anyway. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. Or May. May, right? May. Uh, May or Mai? Is it May or Mai? M-A-I. Uh, I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new here to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Yeah, again, the silence is deafening. <laughs> That's good to hear. The security corpse of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. Here's my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly balls like you use. Damn, okay, this is like, she's the gatekeep girl boss, like, what, the gaslight girl boss gatekeep? Like, what is this comment? What? Calm down. I have a follower, Pokemon. Relax. Yo, I never- y'all need to stop squaring up on me because I don't have people in the right order, okay? I just, like, have everyone how they sh turned out, you know what I mean? Um, whatever. You know what? I'm gonna just- it's all strong all day. Oh gosh, the vibrations of the Joy-Con always scare me. Okay, so... Agile style. Okay, I'm about to get Molly Wop back to back. Drifloon, just hang in there. It's okay. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry. Don't even worry about it. Don't. Oh, you know what? You know what? What is this dude's type? What's going on? What type is Munchlax? Who is Munchlax? Okay. Um. He's a normal type, no? Rude. I think he's a normal. So I can. I think I can kind of do whatever. Um. Who do I have that like really has the sauce? You know, Cyndaquil's always been the saucy one. We're gonna go. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. Okay. And get some burn going in there. Why are you so strong? Maybe agile style? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Why are you so strong? A little worried, a little worried. Okay, okay, it's all good. We just need to like slowly chip away. Everyone's not even healthy, like people are beat up on this team. Um, I guess you can show up. I haven't talked to you since I caught you, admittedly. I don't even know who you are. Um, why are you so strong? Damn. This is really surprising that this is so difficult. Okay. God, everybody here is so weak. Okay, I guess y you're like almost dead though. Not like a brick house, seriously. Okay, you're gonna die, but maybe we can like poison them while you're like out there. Like you're 110% gonna die one wall. Like you have no health left. Um, but maybe like this poison sting can like hit real quick. Okay, see your point. Okay, you can... From beyond. 
Yeah, I knew. Yep. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Okay, we got who's left? The dream team over here. Um. Oof. Ooh. I guess I'll just bring you out because at least you're like level nine. Plus, I can just do. Let's just do strong style. Let's like not risk anything. Like super OP move. Like boom. Okay. Die. Die. Battle decided. I don't like how this is battle decided. That's like really scary. It's very dramatic. Hmm. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Why is he so strong? He's level 10. Murder brother. You fought Munchlax. I'll take care of that. Thank you. Um, you my whole team got annihilated. I'll let you have one of these. Uh, you people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? There should be... Um, these should be useful materials. Five vivid chokes. A vivid choke, also called a morning dew bud. It is used as a material for crafting and can restore the vitality to a Pokemon that has fainted. Okay. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You probably acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Shack Heights. It is a large, fearsome foe like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? Did you track heights? That big ass phone. Your arc phone is beeping. Is that strange thing of me thing of me of yours telling you where to go? The case I've always wanted one of these stupid phone cases. Like it's just insane how like gigantic it is. Um like I I want that phone case, it's so dumb. Uh my my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show us the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead. They got phones in the feudal times. I think I'm the only one with the phone. I'll leave this bit to you. Uh, you shouldn't have any problem handling an alpha. It seems like you're quite the acid to Sorbet Corpse, new one. Though... Before I continue, I must ask, did you already know about Almighty Sino or Sino? Who? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sino, am I saying that right? It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time flow, and this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of the Almighty Sino that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to vet venerate Almighty Sino. Sino? Sino? I don't know how I'm, I'm saying that. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty has only rarely been seen by any human, if the tales are to be trusted. But there's still Pokemon here today in Hisu with a connection to Almighty Sino. Is it- that's gonna drive me crazy. Am I saying that right? I don't think I'm saying that right. How do I say this? Sinoa, right? Is it Sinoa? Let me see. Sino- No. Sino. No, it's just Sino, right? Sino. Like Sino. So no. Okay, anyway, all right, confirmed according to this one YouTube video I watched. So no, okay, the Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly. So no. Yeah, so no. Descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. I say Sino. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Sino. Sino. Follow me and you may understand. Sino. Sino sound right. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see what's going on. Also, let's not lose our focus. Did we get an update on where this other satchel is? No, I don't think we have. But this is, what is this? A new request? What is this new request? It's like on our way. See, and now that we're like, okay, we're, it's starting to like open up. Sin oh, fuck. <laughs> It's, oh my god, look at it. <gasps> I actually really like this Pokemon. I think it's super cute. This thing, this freaking weird bee. 
Oh my god, I love you. Oh my god, it's fast. What's the level? Screw it. Oh god, no. I forgot to check what level it is. Okay. Yes, crick cricketot. Cricketot. The weird bee, it's a cricket. What you know y'all y'all knew who I was talking about. I like the image of Jan inching closer, ready to hit it with a ball. <laughs> um let's just do regular confusion. Cause if you're confused, like you can't do anything, you know what I mean? Like you're just oh you bastard. Looks like a bee to me. Honestly, it kind of does, right? Okay, well, this thing is... Look at this thing! This... Okay, let's try to fight it again. Okay. Yeah, now nah, this is good. It's a good, good game good. Let's try to do hypnosis, because then it's like you could be all like hypnotized, and then you can't walk away. Maybe. Should we also hit it? Is this gonna be enough to like, can I just... Because you're hypnotized, because you're like asleep, can I just like, whoop? You can't break out of the ball if you're asleep. Come on, you're asleep. Yay! Yay! I think the UI, like, it's, I like a lot of the little details too. I think the UI is really nicely done. Oh no, this mean Drifloon. Who is that? Oh god, someone's here. Someone's here. Uh-uh. Bye. Something's attacking me. Zubat. Zubat's like whack though. I don't know why I got excited to see a Zubat. Zubat kind of sucks, but... Like maybe this time it'll be different. Like I'll feel differently. Okay, um... Oh god, no, not the hypnosis. Oh, boom! That There you go! There you go, baby! Let's go! Okay, um... Is Thundershock even, like, that good against Zubat? Because what's flying and then, like, what else? Let's just try Thundershock Bucket. Oh, damn! Okay, you real messed up. Oh, we're good now. We're good now. Are there bad guys in this game? So far, no. I mean, everyone hates us, but I don't think that there's anyone, like, bad yet. Oh man, this Shinx is living it up here. Yay! Boom! Yo, everyone's about to get caught. Everyone get the smoke! Um, maybe we'll catch this one too, because I imagine we probably could benefit from catching more than one. I got followed by someone named Total Dumbass, and I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I'm like, you're the bad guy. Maybe. I'm the bad guy. Da -do -do -do. A Billie Eilish moment? Why not? Like, that little UI is really, really nice. I like that little UI. Oh yeah, so I want to see what's up with this guy. Hello, sir. Oh there, mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries. You know, I'm the shiny red ones. We go on trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, friend. Throw one of your Pokeballs at the berry tree and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you. Be sure to, to the Pokeball you throw has a Pokemon in it, mind. Shame to waste an empty ball. If you hand me three of the cherry berries, I'll give you another handy tip. Okay. Don't I already have the, yeah, boom, cherry berry time. Oh, could you give me three of the cherry berries you have there? Your Wurmple can evolve. Like, can, like, I need to evolve him? Or what's up? Or just, like, we're just sharing about can they evolve? Oh, but I also got followed by someone, I eat sewage, and that turned out to be 
one of my, my viewers from my first channel way back when. <laughs> the names can definitely be weird. For me, at this point, I tr unless your name is like a slur or something, I'll try to just like go with whatever. Like obviously if you're janky, then you're out whether your name is like cherry berry or like something really obscene. Um, the twirl. Yeah, I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to get my standing goal in. Um, I have to like move slightly to like for it to count on my Apple watch. Um, Cause I've had like one of my favorite viewers ever. Um, well, that's kind of dramatic, right? Like I don't really know. It's like, I know most people watching, um, but like, by favorite, I mean, like, they commented a lot of my stuff and, like, I kind of, you know, we would have, like, t discussions on it. Uh, it, is, it is not you played for it. Um, at least not in the story. So, on my old YouTube channel, Did by Bed, I'll tell this story while I, like, try to get my standing goal in. Um, you know, I didn't have very many viewers on that channel. Y'all can still watch it if you're curious. Um, I feel like my takes probably were pretty bad at the time. But it's the first channel I ever did and it was with my friend and stuff. Um, and we had, like, very low viewership, you know, literally, like, uh, you know eight to like 25 views per video stuff like that and um we had like a podcast and stuff and this one user was named wee wee jumbo and that's like kind of an obscene name or like you know it's just the vibe is like mm. and they were like the kindest person ever they're like uh, yeah okay okay i thought i had told this before they were like really just really nice and they had you know they they kind of like comments where they like genuinely engage with what we were saying no you tweeted about it okay yeah um so definitely i mean i totally understand if someone's like insta block whatever and if your name's like super creepy like i've had people follow me that are like you know you know if your name's like like i don't know something really gross i don't even want to say what something some of the people that have followed me are if it's really gross i'll instant ban but if it's like kind of just you know like butt stuff or something like where it's like okay you could be a jerk but you could just be have like you know somewhat immature humor or it's an account you made a long time ago like there's so many reasons people have like goofy usernames that i'm like okay um or like um one of uh, our community members at minmax is like something like divorced milf or something and they're like really not nice. hey <laughs> so i don't know it's their name like what are you gonna do Butt stuff. What kind of asshole would do that? Oh yeah, it's a good stuff. <laughs> kind of like that. Talking about is butt stuff, but it's like fancy and it's alliteratory. I just noticed that. Is a Pokeball? Yes, thank you. Always got the drip. Yes, it's my Poke Pokemon Pokeball fit. I'm gonna wear it again on Mon on Tuesday when we record for um, freaking Minmax. Um, what is it called? Deepest Dive on Pokemon uh, Arceus. So uh, if you want to join on that, it goes up on YouTube for free for everybody. But if you if you're on Patreon, you can get the podcast version of the episodes. It's going to be me, Ben, Kelsey, and uh, freaking Sarah Prozorski. And we're, we're going to talk about the first, like, five hours of the game. So up until, like, the boss that I'm going to, like, encounter pretty soon, I think. And then um, just kind of side stuff during that time. But, like, that's kind of how we're doing it. So uh, play along, listen, and uh, it'll be fun. Okay, you can throw a berry near a wild poke on a try. Why not give it a try on a the Cricker Tot? The Cricket Tots. Okay. So he wants me to, like, throw a berry. Do I need to do that? Or does he, like, just... Is that just, like, oh, try it? <gasps> Who is this? Is this a Pokemon? Or is it just, like, a flower? No, it's just a flower. Oh, d yo, I thought this was... <gasps> it's Geodude. I feel like Geodude is so nostalgic, you know? Let's take this plant, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, never mind. He's not nostalgic anymore. He's scary. He's scary. <laughs> Never mind. Oh no. No. Okay. Okay. In a turn where my name could have been asked, discussion life might have been different. Mud slap. Ba bow. Are there shines in this game? I assume so, but I don't actually know. Um, I really only know the stuff that I've been directly exposed to from the game and like light marketing stuff. I read a little bit of like Laura Kate Dale's Twitter thread when she posted that before embargo and stuff. Um, but I haven't really dug into other stuff outside of that. I don't think I've ever caught a shiny actually, despite having like played Pokemon for many years. Times you've seen it use confusion. I like this, um, you know, it, I think with this and Nobody Saves the World, it's been interesting to see the, um, like, 
the grindification of games of how they like approach quest lines and things um it's been interesting there are shines thanks for all martin shiny hunting stream went oh my god bob i have no idea how or uh boy barnacle sorry i thought it said bob barnacle um i have no idea what that would even entail to be honest so prob probably not but maybe i'm not gonna say never but also where are these lost satchels though but yeah i'm digging this it definitely i'm not saying that like oh this is they nailed it completely but it feels so much more open than i was expecting it to feel it, it really feels like I don't know. It's just so much more grand than like I've seen. Okay, so like what we're walking through, for instance, it kind of reminds me of like in Sword and Shield when you got to like the snow area and you like kind of walk through the lanes and there'd be different people to fight. That was fine and all, but it always you know it's kind of inherently stiff and this just feels like a lot more open. Just got here. How far along are you? Um, today on stream I'm 90 minutes in. Uh, I'm a bit further into the game though because I started playing last night um, and did like the opening stuff, got my starter, kind of did like a lot of basics. So we're still pretty early into like the main quest stuff. It just kind of can take a while to get there if you like do other things or you know like I spend time like getting my hair done and all that. So oh so even your professor decided to join us. She's feeling kind of evil, to be honest. Here's my little, my, my, my buddy. Woo, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out a chance to observe an alpha. Now, could I? Any mounts yet? No, no mounts yet. Um, I really just have, like, my, my team is very small. I have, like, maybe max a dozen Pokemon right now. Uh, do you find the world feeling empty? Honestly, I don't really so far, because I think, like, if you... I don't know what else there would be like I'm out in a field you know what I mean like and I'm not saying that like if someone populated the world more that I wouldn't be like wow this is different or even better but I don't like I feel like I'm walking around there's some Pokemon I catch her fight the Pokemon and there's space for me to like not run into encounters all the time as well so at this at this stage in the game I don't feel like it's empty uh, maybe as the hours go go on I'll feel like I wanted more from the open world um, I suppose this is your business. Find as fine as long as you can stay out of the way. All right, let's go. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon, a Pokemon descended from one of the agents, Almighty Sano. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace and racket. Oh my god! That's what you're here for. Drive out the interloper. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for battle. Wait, am I like leveled for this? Because I'm just walking into this. Oh my world. Word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across uh, the land if they're as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big though. They are strong and may know moves others don't. They're not to be trifled with, and let me tell you nevertheless, I believe you are still stronger than this alpha. So go ahead. So go show with that beyond any mistaking. Really? Be careful. Size so a potent weapon in itself. No doubt the alpha is powerful and a hardy foe. Okay, Pokemon whose eyes go red are called... I hate that they're called alpha. Um, I love the hat too. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and may know moves that are rare in the species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. That's kind of fun, though. Again, like, they're adding, like, some fun stuff here. I'm digging that. Okay. What do I know about you? Do I know anything? No, I don't think I, I'm going to know anything. I don't know who to pick. I feel, I feel like, underprepared for this. Laura K. Buzz, what's good? What's good? We were just talking about you. Uh, what's good, Laura? Welcome in with a party of 48. Uh, what's up, Raiders? My name is Jan Garcia, aka Game Onesis. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I stream on Fridays and Saturdays at 3 p.m. PT. Usually, I'm not streaming tomorrow because I got other stuff to do. Uh, but on Fridays, I do Best of 2022 Watch, where I stream the latest games in search of the greatest games of the year. And on fr Saturdays, I do um, a, an ongoing Let's Play. So right now, I'm playing Outer Wilds um, with the community. It was voted on, so I'm, I'm playing through that. I've done two sessions, and I have a, a couple more to go before I roll credits. Uh, and that's basically what I do. Every now and then I do some bonus stuff as well. Like we did a charity stream, I think last week even. Was it last week or two weeks ago? Last week, I think. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I have a cat named Bruce that just got redeemed. So let's go get Bruce and say hi to Bruce.
Okay, I have a couple of challenges here. So, one challenge is to open this thing without her biting me. Hold on. When she shows up on stream, I try to give her a, a snack. I need to cut her nails too. Oh, this this is too many treats. That's okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. It's Bruce. If she bites, you gotta fight on stream. <laughs> Ew, she's kind of gross. <laughs> I find it funny that after the treats are gone. Okay. Okay, hold on. Wait, actually, I can lower. I can lower the desk. Maybe down to like here. But yeah, this is Bruce. Um, do I have like a? I guess I have straight to cam really quick. That could be a fun one. Here's Bruce. I'll come up with like a cute overlay for this. She's she's adorable. She's boofy. Um, she's four. And uh, she likes to be held like this, like a little baby. Uh, those are the beans. And she's pretty calm overall. Uh, if she ever really doesn't want to be here, she'll just leap out. She is, she is quite large. <laughs> this is her in her entirety. Um, she's a, a soft girl. She's a big girl. She's a long girl. She's a big kitty. She's wondering if there's more treats on the desk, but there aren't. Oh, God. And then you can hold her like this too. She doesn't like that quite as much, so she'll probably leave pretty soon and kind of leap out very dramatically. When Isaiah holds her like this, she likes it a little bit more, but I don't really quite have that down. But yeah, this is this was Bruce, so we're gonna let Bruce go back to laying around. There she is. Oh my gosh, so much of her fur came off during that. Like, kind of an insane amount, honestly. Like, should I be concerned? Okay, she's a little scared now. She's hearing the desk move. Like why is there why are there sounds? Did she climb your shelves in the back? Um, a little bit, not really though. She doesn't really climb on shelves at all. Hey, play Jason. How's it going? Good to see ya. Um, I feel like I have cat hair on me now. Um, out here with a tier one sub, thirteen months subbed. I appreciate it. Um, what else? What else? Um, yeah, she more climbs on. So behind this shelf, there's a window. It's just that y'all don't really notice it because all the stuff blocks the light coming in. And she'll climb on the windowsill a little bit, but she won't really climb the shelves themselves. Um, she's pretty good at not climbing shelving that we have or anything like that. She doesn't destroy like anything. Um, the only thing that she'll do that's like bad is she'll climb on the table, like the dining table. If sometimes she'll climb on the kitchen island, but never the counters, like with the microwave and the appliances and stuff. And um, sometimes she'll like claw at the furniture like most cats, you know. Um, she won't do any of those things though if we're around. She'll only do them when we're asleep at night. <laughs> uh, how's Pokemans? Pokemans is good. I'm having a fun time. We just in were introduced to um, alpha Pokemon, which are like more powerful. And I'm kind of scared about fighting this thing to be honest, but we're just gonna go up and see what happens. And if we die, then, then that that's that, so. There we go. Wait, what? What? Do I have to like talk to it? What's going on? Why is it so dramatic? Hi! It's so scary! Yo, Keegan, what's good? Coming in with a sub. How's it going? How's your heart? How's your spirit? Doon, 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 doon. Okay, press Y during battle to check the action order of all Pokemon currently in battle. This shows the order in which Pokemon will take their upcoming turn based on their action speed. The action speed of Pokemon is based on the stat speed. Okay, I actually really like that they have this. Um, I should take note of this somewhere. I was, so, you know, I'm, I'm very like casual with Pokemon. Oh snap, we're almost at a hype trade. In the drama, the intrigue, it's a boss fight. Oh, is this the boss fight though? 
Or is this just a boss fight? This is just- this is like... A boss fight, or is this like the is this the first boss that I'm supposed to do? No, right? Because it has a different name, I think. No, this is like a different one. Oh God! What happens? What happens? The drama, the intrigue. Oh, why are blight? Thanks for the follow. Okay. No, this is a different one. I forgot. There's a, there's a later one that I'm playing up until. Right, but with the speed stuff, I'm excited that they have something like that. Oh god, you're gonna die. Ooh! Because I never understood... I never really fully understood, like, the order stuff, or, like, how fast it mattered, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I'm explaining that right. Like, I never under, I never really felt or understood... I didn't feel like I could, I could perceive the impact of the speed stat. Uh, why not just use Raid Spray on the... <laughs> so mean. Okay, what kind of... What do I have here? What does Bite do? No, oh, that's not anything. Okay. Let's just do Thundershock again. Like, and it's like, why don't I heal anybody? I just don't feel like doing it. Just because maybe the paralysis. <gasps> yes, you did it. You did it. Good job. Good job. We could do Strong Style. Screw it. Let's do Strong Style. And then try to throw a Pokeball. Hopefully that doesn't, doesn't kill it. Don't don't die. Don't die. Okay, I think it's Pokeball time. Yeah, you're dead now. I'm sorry. I got greedy. Uh, Grizzle two one six. Thanks for the follow. Oh my gosh, there's like hand sanitizer on here now. From okay, there we go. Um, who do I want to put out here? I think Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil is pretty cool. Cynical's always holding it down, so I think that'll be good. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Okay. I don't know if this is enough to even do this yet, but... Probably not. Yeah! Alright! Yay! Yay! We did it! You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Reminds me- also, did Bruce Lee? Okay, I think she left. Reminds me of a, the legendary hero of old. Yay! Every, I like the heals. That thing one shot like half my Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I was really worried that- honestly, I got rocked in like the battle, like with my like not rival rival, because I was dumb and I put out a water Pokemon to Pikachu, so like he died immediately. Um, and a few other ones, uh, fight, fate, bleh, facing that Munchlax was a real pain in the ass. This one didn't go as badly though. I don't know if it's because I'm like getting. Yay, the, the magical reindeer! The magical reindeer! It's Wordier! It's the great Wordier! Is it Wordier? Wordier! Wordier! Oh my god! Hello, sir! It's so beautiful. It's so festive. He looks upon you with kindness. I'm sure he does, as he should. Let's be friends. I'd say the great word here has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He could probably kill me if he wanted to. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses um, of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy. He's a blessing to us all. This also seems like it could be memed later, so... I gotta be honest, that did not look like a kind look. You know, that's fair. It's kind of like, it kind of reminded me of like the problem with live action Lion King, if y'all saw that, where they're like, he's sad. He's happy. It's the same face. Like, animals don't emote in the same way. Um, he could have like made some nice noise or something, but uh, why it's just like right like the Pokemon, the the ride Pokemon of Alola. Oh, so I'm referencing Alola. Let's go, uh, Professor. Uh, I take it things went smoothly. I'm here on Captain Celine's orders. She said we'd be able to set up a base camp here once Janet took care of her request. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adamon and the Commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. 
The Hisuo region is a land created by Almighty uh, Sano for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and tribe together with Pokemon, then I imagine you should be allowed to use this land. The Great Word here has taken a liking to Jin as well. This is a good sign. You have my things. Well, yeah, where'd you get the fit, though, to be honest? Because that's what I'm trying to wear. Um, you have my thanks for what you did. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll show my appreciation with the power reward as soon as I can. Mm. Yo, that delayed payment, though. Well, if we need were to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to know them better. The first step is completing the Pokedex. The construction corpse should be here soon. They'll have our new base camp pitched in no time. I gotta be on. Okay, no way. I already read that part. Yep, the kind look. It's camp time. There we are. Here we have it, a new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I call it the Heights Camp. A uh, Pokemon trainer working for exposure. It's like, oh, it's like, honestly, I'm only taking net 30, y'all. Like, if you're not paying in 30 days maximum, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having more base camps ought to make our survey work easier. Oh man, Lady of a Dying Breed, thank you for the $10 tip. I appreciate it. Last Lady of a Dying Breed. That's very, very cool. Um, you, you know, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see those uh, come through pretty, very often. Uh, Pokemon Trainer working for exposure. Wait, no, I did read that. Well, Last of a, of a Dying Breed compensated us for our work here today. We may not have gotten, you know, my or May's payment, but we did get the tip, so... Okay, $2,500? Do we have enough for that outfit we want? We might, actually. We're very close, I think, at minimum. Cyndaquil. We're getting our friends. I think, how do y'all form your teams? Is something I'm curious about. Like, do you have favorites in mind? Are you just like, whoever I'm interested in? Cyndaquil, you know, I, I, I have my starter in there, obviously. Um, I'm thinking Drifloon. Might be in the rotation. Um, this scary thing could could do numbers. Poker dollars are again, that was like 25 bucks. Yeah, but I only need a little bit. I just want to get this one outfit at the store. One of each color. <laughs> Sometimes I make goofy teams, like just a cute team. Um, okay, let's see. All right. Do, 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 do. Hey, what's up, Janet? How's it going, uh, V-Silent? How's it, what, what's going on? How you doing? I just have them all be different types. I also aim for like different types. Um, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, there we go. I'm like, BDSP, what is that? Was my first Pokemon, so I'm still trying to figure out who to put on my team. How would you like that game as well? Because I know that was kind of like a little bit of a contentious one, I feel like, when it came out. I think it didn't really rock anyone's world the way I think some of their other remakes have. Sure, it's a good game, though. I mean, pretty much all mainline Pokemon games are some degree of good. Uh, Benny Ochum, the usual potato mochi, please, and make it three as well. Picking Pokemon? Yeah, like, I, we were talking about how do you make your team. Like, do you have favorites? Do you just kind of pick whoever you get and then you roll with them? Um, and then what do you base it on? Have you all heard the grave news? That friends- Aha! Uh -huh! This is the boss. I think Cleavor from the rumors ended up mauling some of the galaxy folks who wanted to investigate this morning. The medical corpse had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. As the first Pokemon, it was really enjoyable. I had a good time with it, but I actually enjoyed the gameplay of Arceus more so far. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine so. How for Lightning, yes. I did hear he's been behaving more radically since then. Still, a further investigation is in order. The survey corpse will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Janet here can handle things just fine. Dun, dun, dun. But that Cleavor is said to be much, much stronger than even an alpha Pokemon, isn't he? If anyone wants to tell me what level he is, that'd be useful. Uh, you forgot the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we, the Survey cor Corps, are duty-bound to research. And since this perilous work calls, work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. 
they're always so worried. They're like pressed and stressed. It's just a lot. The next day. Uh, rise and shine, Janet. The boss wants you. No! Come on, oh, that is. Uh, get yourself to the commander's office. Man, I'm trying to, like, sleep in with no alarm. I do like when you enter a home, you don't have your shoes on. Like, you take off your shoes when you enter. It's nice. Oh, man. I'm like, can I go to the clothing store first? Did you get a good rest? Oh, no thanks to you, but... Look who's being punctual, finally realizing you're wasting almighty Sano's time by bowing to a sham. Who is this? Yo, everyone looks like- okay, these people look badass. There you go again, insisting on your false image of almighty Sano uh, as a ruler of time. My people follow the true almighty Sano, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Ha, huh, you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make a vast Tasui space? Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me get lost? And Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis? You wish. I wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to go to Commander Commodore's office. I believe it was you who started this. This is some drama. The drama is like crazy. Just another day with those two, I see. That man's name is Ottoman? Ottoman? Sure. He's the leader of the Diamond Clan. They put a lot of importance on time, you could probably tell. The girl is Arita. Arita? I don't know. Leader of the Pearl Clan. They're all about space. You heard what she called it, right? Our world's very basis. Whenever they run into each other, those same arguments flare up. Seems they've inherited some bad blood from their predecessor's strife. Ah oh, well, not our problem. You'll have problems if you don't get yourself to the commander's office, Janet. I was like, which way is it? Okay. Here I go. Here I go again. Hello. If you have progress to report, I will judge the worthiness. Show me what you got. So I have some research that live in the areas you currently have access to. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, and then there's this board. Hmm. Come back to this later. Okay. Wait, is that really all I had to do? Like, I'm- I, okay, um... Wait, where is the commander's office? Is that not the commander? No, they're above. Oh, this is, this is a different person. Never mind. DoorDash driver just punched my doorbell so hard that it broke. I have no idea why. Oh my god. Wait, what? This isn't it. Right, is it not downstairs? Is it above me? Like where, is it the third floor? Oh, this is the, oh, this is it. This is the office, just kidding. I was like, who's the commander? I'm like, I don't remember anymore, okay. What do you intend to do about Cleavor, Commander Commodo? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sano, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You got the... You do get right to the point, Ad Adamon? I don't know. Time wasted is lost. Is this how I sound when I have, like, too much of, like, a calendar? Like, you know what I mean? Uh, well... Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleavor is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? 
That's the point. The clan can't intervene directly where a Lord of Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats just like we used to be. But even the Folk of Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honorable nobles? Uh, Cerebro Media. Thanks for the follow. I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cle Cleavor... Cleavor... Cle Cle <laughs> into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is the first as far as my clans know it knows, too. Hmm, I see you've arrived. This is Janet, the newest member of Survey Corps. Aha, I heard from... May? My? I don't know. You earned Wardeer's favor. These names are rough. I have no idea how to say these names. If anyone knows, let me know. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. Uh, Roborito. Great name. Thanks for the follow. I'm Adamond, maybe. Leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamond. <laughs> it's just, I say it different every time. One of them has to be right. If you come from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from space where Almighty Sano is said to be said to reside? I'm Arita, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords, which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really be passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleavor before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleavor? This newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing his... Tisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid her chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sano made Hisu vast so Pokemon could live free throughout. Freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is now your mission, Janet. Or whatever, close enough. I order you to study Cleavor and help us find the truth of this situation. I accept. <laughs> Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. What is with this problem? The, the toxic work, work culture in this Pokemon game is through the roof. Like, it is so rough. Uh, Jose writes, thank you for the sub out here with the tier one sub coming through. All right, there we go. The frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. <laughs> well, that's settled. There's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleavor, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. They're like, pull yourself up by your bootstrap. If you work hard enough, you'll gain our respect. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come... To, oh, oh, snap, Jose writes. Yo, coming through with the five gifted subs over to Smart Feller, our make 80, Liz 07 BU. Uh, oh gosh, Jowny? Jowny C? And Mario Tex 42. Thank you so much for those gifted subs. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. And I'm sure uh, everyone else is also excited to get their sub and their T Warn emotes, uh, which include. Everyone from my family that has appeared on this stream uh, and myself. So we got um, brother uh, Janet, sister-in-law Janet, boyfriend Janet, cat Janet, and myself. These are the emotes that you now have. They're very cute. You've seen all these people before and you'll probably see them again. Uh, again, thank you so much for those subs. Um, all right, some might even call us interlopers. 
We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clan. Oh, yo, tell me why. <laughs> with Diamond. Okay, so like with Diamond and Pearl, like, why did that just now click? Why did that. We've had like a full conversation. I've been talking to these people for like 12 minutes and I have not. I'm like, uh, Diamond and Pearl, like the game. Okay, yep, the other game. Okay. This is the most interesting one in terms of timeline, I think, as well. Join me downstairs, Janet. We'll cover the details of this new mission. It's a pretty subtle reference. <laughs> yeah, it's just piercing through the dialogue in all caps. Diamond and Pearl, okay. I'm like, oh, you're the Diamond Clan. Okay, the Pearl, okay, Diamond and Pearl. I actually didn't play Diamond and Pearl, so that doesn't do much more for me than like, Diamond and Pearl, okay, like. All right, let's get this mission Disgust so I can go buy some new clothes. Uh, ah, good, you're already here. Professor, um, is it Laventon? I don't know how to say anyone's name. Uh, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Janet, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleavor's frenzied state, but you're aware by now Cleavor is a mighty thing. Nigh, invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems far a, he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled up. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Very well. Let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Nobles' seat. Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this Cleavor. Can I just ask them? I, okay, it's fine. Janet, we need to... Oh. Janet, we need to speak to you. I don't have a voice for her. Um, listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this whole world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sano itself resides. The true Almighty Sano, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space rift, that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sano's own power. Think of it. You might have been just swimming in its divine might. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, what could... Who could have guessed that Pokemon called Cleavor is strong? Am I saying his name right? Cleaver? Is it Cleaver or Cleavor? Cleaver, right? Clavor? Damn, it's over. I got a glow. OMG, LX! I'm glad you like it. Um, I think Isaiah might still be watching this stream. Um, Isaiah designed this. Uh, it's also the same overlay he uses, and you can change, like, the colors. Um, so I changed the colors to like match the stream and I also use it where I have chat now up here because then I can use the VODs and put them on YouTube, youtube.com slash Um So yeah, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I like it a lot too. It does make my gameplay a bit smaller, but I think it saves us from a lot of issues of things blocking the gameplay and having to like constantly reconfigure the overlay. Uh, but yeah, I really like it. Baron Pearl, um... Let's see, was a mediocre port of a great game. That's kind of the vibe that I got from people, where it's like, playing that version wasn't exciting because it wasn't, like, done in, to, in an exciting way. Uh, looks great. Nice work, Isaiah. Um, Isaiah's eventually going to make it available to everyone as well. Right now, only uh, he and I have access to it. Um, but I told him it'd be like, you know, people would go crazy for this as an option, as, like, a free option. Um, and then especially if he made, like, different variants or could, like do just like there's so many possibilities with it and i think it'd be like so useful and it's like he can talk about it more and feel free if you want to type about it isaiah on how it works but i think it's really cool um and it's really easy to like customize so that's what i like about it uh well i've got a favor to ask you oh amazing time traveler don't just study cleaver quell his frenzy well, you certainly caught us a good time, young Adamon. We were just discussing our next steps re with regard to this whole cleaver situation Oh, you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now let me elaborate a bit. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those Galaxy Team of all people for help. 
The truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Okay, now we're seeing the structure. Okay. Now there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share Hisui. And that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such a powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of Heartwood. Just <laughs> Y'all couldn't have written that like any differently. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know? Uh, he'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, uh, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Absolutely, would definitely cop and tip for the privilege. <laughs> Dope. Still want to do more, but yeah, one day hopefully. Um, yeah, hosted overlay. It's gonna be a thing. Wow, he just said his pe wow, he just said his piece and then vanished. He must just value his time that much, I guess. I appreciate all these voices. Thank you. I'm not sure what to do for Ray or Rye or whatever. Adamon and my is it my or May? It's gonna let me look this up. M A I. How to pronounce? It's May, right? May my. Let me see. Pronounce names dot com. My. It's my. It's my. I think. The anime's kids warden's question. Redundancy is a pet peeve. <laughs> um. Adamon. Is it Adamon? Is that even like, like? Can I look that up? This is driving me crazy. A Adamon. How to pronounce Adamon. Yeah, I'm see, I thought it, I think it might be my, if it's Russian. Okay, this is Adamon. Let's hear it. Adamon. Adamon? Adamon. Adamon. I think it could be pronounced multiple ways. Let's go with Adamon then. That's what WikiHow says, Adamon. And then my, Adamant and my, who knows this way, Adamant and my weren't wrong, you know? <laughs> if you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you'd best be starting, start by visiting his abode. Oh God, what would his voice be? Now that we've got the Heights Camp, it should come in handy for getting to wherever. Uh, and don't forget to visit a pasture. Choosing your Pokemon team carefully makes a difference. It's gonna... My is definitely my. Okay. That's what I was thinking, because that, that's that's what made sense, I think. My. And then what? Adaman? Adaman. Like, boy, but at finding yourself on... Oh, who is this? Okay. Finding yourself unable to pick up materials you come across. Satchel always seems full. If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. There you go. Isn't that what Wolverine's bones are made of? Adamantium? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Oh yeah, let's. So what's up with this guy? You can carry even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick of packing things in. I can teach you if you'd like. What do you say? Crimson, thanks for the follow. Aw, oh, man. You know what? I don't work for free. That's true. I respect the hustle. Okay. I like your initiative. My teaching fee is a need $100. All right. I feel like I'm doing the like, yeah, see? <laughs> Perfect. Then lend me your ear for a moment. Oh, Pokemon. I really want to try this. Um... With a big gameplay, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I won't say it took me a while to warm up because that's kind of that makes it like I didn't like it at one point. But once I got really in the flow of it, like I'm enjoying it honestly. You've made space to keep one more kind of item in your satchel, and that's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit in by packing things rightly. If you want to be able to carry even more things, I could teach you. What do you say? Sure. I like your initiative. My teaching fee is a need 200. All right. Perfect. Then lend me your ear a moment. How many upgrades does he have, though? That name had Janet uh, out here. The birds and Finding Nemo. Mine, my, mine, my, mine. My. All my favorite streamers that have played so far are liking it. Nice. Yeah, I think that's a good sign. And that's all there is to it. See how much more you can fit in when you pack things rightly? Ooh, I don't know how much I want him to teach me. 
He has a lie. He's charging me $6,000. Bye. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna come back later. I need to buy... I, I, need, to, I need to buy my clothes. I can't do this. I started last night, and it seemed to take so long to get started. Yeah, it, I honestly think they really need to... And I guess they're torn by this, because, you know, Game Freak has made it very clear... Flash like Masuda and Omori and just like the just the general Pokemon team has made it very clear that they they always want a very tutorialized game because they want it to be welcoming to newcomers. But I just feel like it takes way too long to do anything. Um, I feel like it was too slow of a start to the game. And I actually did most of I did all that like yesterday off stream, which I think was like a good idea because it was like actually pretty boring. Um, and then I'm like, okay, now we have the missions, you know, I have my starter and everything, but yeah, I think it drags a bit too much in the beginning. Right, I feel like a lot of the Japanese games can have a really slow start. And then it's like, do I want to spam through all the dialogue? It's like, well, I don't really want to because I want to know the story. Yeah, it just was, and I think, you know, you can tutorialize while there's still like fun ha to be had. We be changing our yes, okay. I don't know if I have enough for the the pants though. <gasps> I don't have enough for the pants. Do you want to just buy like slightly better pants? Which is the money I have left. So what pants do I have? I have these like plain ones. The pants are kind of weird though, to be honest. I don't think they really go with this outfit that well. I mean, I guess the yellow, right? I'm thinking of either doing... Th this is like the blue is slightly different though, which kind of bothers me. Hmm. Daffodil. Maybe we just do dark slate? Or like white. White could be good. Do we want to just do white for now until we get like the funky ones? Let's just do white for now. And then let's see if we can get like different shoes. They're just different colors. Oh no, we don't have any money for shoes. That's okay. This is still pretty decent. What was the last Pokemon game that you put a decent amount? Oh, Sword and Shield. I played a bunch of Sword and Shield. Um, I worked on the guide for Sword and Shield at IGN in part. Um, and then even outside of working on the guide, because, like, what was my job on the guide? I think I was just kind of doing random stuff. Like, it just varied. I was sort of just aiding in different parts and helping, like, guide projects within it. Um, under Casey, who led that guide. Um, yeah. So, but, but I also just played a lot of it. Like, I remember that coming out around, like, Thanksgiving time, and I played a bunch over break. And, like, I have, um, like, a lot of hours in Sword and Shield, I feel like. Um, and I think this is going to be like the next kind of big thing for me to like sink my time into. Though it is coming out a very bus busy time, so I don't know like how, you know, exactly what that'll look like for me. I kind of don't like these pants. I don't like these pants anymore, actually. I think they're ugly. Do I have enough money to get? <gasps> I don't have enough money to get any other pants. Maybe I have pants I can change into, though. It looked, they looked better in the store, and now I feel like... I just know it's a Pokemon dress. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, I'll be wearing the same thing for when we do episode one, at least, of uh, Deepest Dive on Minmax. I think this is my house. Is this my house? Sword and Shield got so much hate. I love the game. I love Sword and Shield. I also loved it. Um, yeah, I think Sword and Shield was really good. Yeah, I'll just stick with these, then. I mean, they're not great either, but I think it's better than the white. The white was too bold. But yeah, I like- I also- one thing that's really nice about this is that they just organize the side quest so much better, because in, in previous Pokemon games, the side quest system was like- it's kind of weird, because like you just kind of have to remember it. I don't- I mean, maybe they were written out in Sword and Shield, I actually don't remember. But they didn't feel as integrated. Um, Murr, thanks for the follow. Um, then there was someone who that I met that was like, I want to see this one Pokemon entry. I think it was her. Starlies. 
Let me see Starly's entry the moment you complete it. So I'm confused about this. Is it just that it's not completed? Like, is the entry not completed until all these boxes are checked? Let me know if anyone in the chat knows. Because I thought I had, like, Starly done. Speaking of which, you, Kelsey, and Sarah is such a stack deepest dive. Might have to watch, even though I'm planning on playing uh, Arce not planning on playing Arceus for some time. I think it's gonna be really good. Um, I'm very excited. Oh, the B doof. The B doof, do doof. In like, I feel like I'm honestly probably the least knowledgeable of. Well, I'm probably more, maybe more knowledgeable than Ben. I actually don't know Ben's Pokemon history, but like. Kelsey knows a bunch. I think Sarah knows a bunch. Maybe I'm making that up, but I feel like she knows a lot about Pokemon. Um, and Kelsey's, like, been playing, like, really intensely, like, her whole life. Um, I just tried to catch Abra in the beginning. <laughs> I certainly hope you're putting that secret back, uh, strike technique I taught you to good use. Okay, this guy is, like, obsessed with me. Hold on. Okay, let me get- let's, what's his voice? Hold on. <clears throat> Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. <laughs> Serious lack. Thanks for the follow. Um, oh, think nothing of it. Having the survey corpse out about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know? Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Uh, Diabetes Rex, thanks for the follow. That's a great range of experience for panel, though. Yeah, I think it's, like, really... It's gonna be really good. I'm very excited. I'm also so excited to hear... Um, Sarah's reactions to all of the Bidoof content in the beginning of this game. You obtain three sewer potions. Sewer potion, a topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon can restore 100 HP in a single use. Each research tick is a point. Unless it has the red up arrows, then each tick is worth double. 10 counts the completed Pokemon entry. Pokedex entry, thank you. Okay, so then I still have to finish that. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. I feel like he has to have, like, a cool voice, you know? Like, he's pretty chill. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Um, what are we even doing right now, though? Let's look at what we're doing. Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Uh, I guess it's, like, here, right? Is this where it is? Let's just go- let's just go there and see what happens. It's probably somewhere else. do 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 also, what does my team look like right now? I mean... I feel like... You could probably come through. I do kind of like having Wormple around, though, to be honest. Let's take out Starly. It, we, like, it just never was going that well. I kind of want... Him? I kind of want to level him up, though, so we can get his, like, attack. His Aqua Jet. No, he has Aqua Jet. Let's put him back. Let's put him back. He just never used it on me. Let's... Actually, let's... Oh, God. I don't know what to do here. Let's try to do this. Maybe we can level up Geodude. That, that would be nice. Oh, wait, wait, no, I already read that. Okay, the research, yes. Uh, we caught, probably could use some more of these, like... Maybe, like... Let's just make the max, like, why not? Oops. What are these? Okay. So this is, like, oh, okay. Okay. Sure. Oh wait, can I cook something? I wanna- I wanna cook something. Okay, we're just gonna like the mainline vibes right now. Okay, so then I should go to probably this place. I think this is still closer to the other area. Alright, let's go! Let's go! Oh gosh. Uh, actually, wait, what's my, what's going on with the Pokedex on this creature? Whoop, okay. So, I need to reach seven. Number of times defeated, we've never defeated it. So let's go ahead and fight this thing. Why? Okay, fine. 
You know what? Geodude can help with this. There he goes. Thank you! Boom! Okay, don't... Don't run away. Also becomes my head of mix. Um, let's just try to do like a strong rollout and see if we can just kill this thing right now. Boom! Got him. Okay, so what's going on? What else from Starly? Different forms of chain, in terms of vault. I mean, we could probably defeat it again. That would help. Where are you at? Where are you at? Let's take this. Mm, okay, well, let's just work on getting where we need to go. Uh, Jan, how do you feel about uh, damn near everyone making prejudgments about this game based on very little information? It's a clever open world game by Nintendo, and I'm gonna get compared to Breath of the Wild. I think um, it's it's weird. I think um, there's o for like a couple of years, if not longer, just the Pokemon fandom is like kind of toxic and nitpicky and weird. Um, that being said, I, I think there's space. I think there needs to be space to talk about what Pokemon doesn't do well and what it needs to work on and in ways that we can be kind of disappointed in, in the franchise or in the game, given the history of the franchise and what your expectations were and what you wanted it to be and things like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, I personally land in the camp where at the end of the day, I'm having fun with Pokemon. I genuinely think most Pokemon games are good games, if not all Pokemon games, like the mainline entries at least. So, yeah, I mean, I think my only... I have so many, like, thoughts about about all that stuff, because I think as much as Pokemon has issues in, like, ways where it's like, oh, it's frustrating, I feel like this, this, that, and the other can be better, what Game Freak has managed to accomplish with this, with a series that's this good, this accessible, in terms of, like, understanding and following it, um, it's like, honestly, I don't think they get their flowers enough for what they've created with Pokemon, um, everyone loves to hate Pokemon, but Pokemon is constantly killing it, and it's a good time. This is what y'all are talking about with he can evolve. Hold on. It's weird that I have to, like, tell him to evolve. Um, so I think there needs to be space for both. Like, we can give Game Freak its flowers while also, like, criticizing it, but I don't think that criticism should go so far as to, like, completely like some people talk about this game as if or like pokemon in general as if it's like super washed and like really disappointing and kind of sucks and i'm like okay well there's like you maybe not liking it or being frustrated by it and then there's like the actual quality of the game which in my opinion and i think even if you press people who are critical of it in most people's opinion it's still a good game it's varying degrees of good um, as far as people who haven't played it i mean i think if you look at it you see the visuals whatever and you're like you know what I'm not interested, this doesn't look good to me. I think that's fair. Um, I don't think it's fair though to say that like the game is bad if you haven't really played it. You could say it seems, you know, you can discuss what your reasoning is and stuff, but um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think if you look at, if you look at it and you're like, this looks like crap, I don't wanna play it. I guess, you know, that that's your opinion and that you're fair to make that judgment for yourself. It's not my 60, $70, whatever. Um, you know, and frankly, if you feel that way, maybe you wouldn't like it. I don't know. But yeah, so it's kind of a convoluted answer to what I feel like is a, a kind of a complex question in some ways. Because I definitely think people can and should criticize the franchise and even the game. But I also think that like, it, are these interesting critiques or is it like you saw a lake on Reddit and now you're mad? Like, I, you know what I mean? It's like a kind of a different thing. They are the Beyonce fans of video games. Very annoying. Honestly, I feel like the Beehive, I stay away from them. They stay away from me. It's It's been fine. It was fine for me. I never got the criticism. Oh, I'm not here for the toxicity of Pokemon fanbase, but the trailer reveal for um, Arceus definitely leverages a similar to Breath of the Wild. Longing. It does. And like, I think the thing is, 
people there's like two sides to like the the pokemon the pokemon breath of the wild coin and like the breath of the wildization of discourse with games on one hand yeah maybe not everything should be compared to breath of the wild which i do agree with but on the other hand i think breath of the wild was such like a moment in time that it's naturally going to draw comparison points when people can find parallels and like that's just part of how um i'm seeing if i'm missing any any um mystery gifts or something because i think i read somewhere that there's like a mystery gift available i just want to check someone give me a gift oh um but yeah like people will be like oh man like stop comparing like you know horizon breath of the wild and it's like but then you like look at there are some similarities you know and yeah it's just kind of like boom clothing gift so yeah get your mystery gift y'all the puddle yeah like there's always some nitpick or something but Personally, too, as far as visuals holistically, I don't really have beefs with visuals as long as the game can run. Um, I think it has to be kind of extreme to, like, deter my enjoyment of the game. That's me personally. I know not everyone feels that way about visuals, but that's just kind of how I am. I'm, I've never been a big graphics person. Um, now, if, that graph, if the graphics are so bad that they're, like, impeding the performance of the thing running and I can, like, feel like it's hurting my experience, then sure. Um, but yeah. Okay, yeah, get that mystery gift, y'all. I didn't know about this. I found this out through uh, game8.co. They're like a guide's website. Um. Oh, oops, I just, want, I just want to be connected to the internet at all times. I'm just trying to see if it's connected. That was, that was bad before launch, but the Pokemon fan base always goes a step too far. <laughs> yeah, automatically connect. Yay! Oh, I love Game 8 for their Genshin guides. They go hard on their guides. Like, they have really in-depth guide pages. And they're, like, very, like, you know, readable. Um, I don't know any of, like, the ins and outs and, like, who runs it or the people behind it or anything like that, so... I can't attest to any of that element, but the content itself is, is, is good, so... You know, hopefully they got some... a good team behind, behind them on that. Um, okay, I... I'm not gonna lie, I do want to know... I do want to know what these clothes look like, so I think I might go back really quick just to see. I'm just going to quickly fast travel out of <gasps> Y'all, look, it's the other bag. It's Richie's Lost Satchel. Okay. I do think, like, this game isn't as open as, like, other open world games are in terms of, okay, well, I'm just in a big, a big field and I'm, like, with my Pokemon. But, I don't know, that's kind of what I expected it to be. Like, I struggle to really imagine what else would be there. I guess maybe more... ...visuals with, like... Oh yeah, actually I do. I do want to report my stuff. But also, I, I just started the game, so maybe I'll feel differently, like, further in. Um, right now I'm stuck trying to catch, uh, gosh, what is it, Ursa Ring? But it's... To, to sewer children are making it difficult, but interesting. I also really like the, like, fighting multiple Pokemon at once. Um, let me return to the village. Isn't it closer to Monster Hunter or Borderlands? Like, not really open, just, like, an open area? Maybe? I don't really know Monster Hunter very well. Borderlands, I feel... I only played three, and I feel like it was still kind of, like, area-based. Like, kind of, you had, like, really big levels. I never really considered Borderlands 3 to be an open world, but let me know if, if y'all thought it... Like, feel like it is, or if it's a definition. I can't believe I dropped all this money on this clothing when I had this mystery gift waiting for me. Let me see what this gift is. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this! Ooh, it looks good. This Growlithe one looks good. Look at how cute this is. Look at this. Y'all almost missed out on this. Go get your mystery gift. I don't even know if I like the mask necessarily, but I'm gonna rock the mask, I think, at this point. And then I don't think I have really any shoes. Okay, go with this outfit, yes. Do I have any more money for, like, new shoes? I want new shoes. Really hoping even more outfits are unlocked. I'm hoping more un outfits unlock too. Like, I don't even necessarily like the mask, but, like, I just got- it's a gift, you know what I mean? So, like, you have to- you have to rock it a little bit. 
Where, if we go here? No, how do I see my money? 960, now I'm super broke. Also though, let's like, while we're in town again, let's talk to this lady. Hope everyone's enjoying the game. Yeah, I'm having a good time with it. Uh, here at the trading post, merit points for items. I want to trade Pokemon, I want to get items. What can you do for me? I'd offer a couple of stories. What does you want to hear about? Tell me about trading. Mmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me get some of the items. And yeah, the mirror points. Yep. Okay, cool. So this is just like where I trade. Um, let me get the items. Okay. They're not like as fun as I wanted them to be. Linking cord. Extreme. Okay. Dubious disc. Um, I think I'll just save the points for now until I know more about what I should be getting. What I should be spending my money on. What's up with this guy? I think he like can sell stuff to me, right? Oh, he has like a little mission for me. I'd be very grateful if you'd craft something special with this recipe I came up with. Here's the recipe. Oh yeah, free recipes. Do I have one of these dolls? Do I have the wood for this doll? No, you need three pieces of wood. I only have one. Okay, cool. Um, we're, we're gonna figure that out. But yeah, I like that structure, generally. I can't remember what game it was that described their open area as a string of pearls, a bunch of connected larger areas. That is a great um, metaphor for it. But yeah, that's kind of what and even Borderlands 3, I didn't feel like those areas were like crazy open. Like it did feel like I was in, I guess they were, I guess they were kind of open in, to some degree. To, they were open to a degree, but to varying degrees. Um, also, so this mystery gift, um, the one I'm wearing, you can get this. It sounds like an ad or something. So, it may be redeemed for all players who purchase and play the game before May 9th, 2022. So y'all got a while to go take this. Uh, Maybe there's hanging out dolls. <laughs> creepy. <laughs> He's just an artisan, you know? It doesn't have to be anything other than that, y'all. I hope I get to keep one of the dolls. That's like really why I'm doing this, to be honest. Um, I don't want to fight you, actually. Can we just go somewhere else? <laughs> no. Um, you know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. Screw it. Let's see if we can square up. Also, now I can see this aqua jet move because that was part of my, um... An artisan. <laughs> no! Why is it so weak? At least I'm really fast, I guess. I got like three hits in. Uh, Janet, don't give a damn about Cleaver. She's just in for the clothes and the dolls, and I can't disagree. Honestly, Cleaver's gonna be there when, you know, we get there. It's like, it is what it is. What else are we missing from you? Um. Mm, maybe more times defeated could be good. Plus then we can, like, level up Geo, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna try to just roll out really fast, or like really strongly. Die! Yay! Oh, you're about to get the smoke too! You're about to get the smoke too! Come through! Yeah, man, this, I mean, the, it's just, oh, damn! He just dipped on me. Good job! Oh shoot! Oh! God! No! Why are they both- <laughs> This is really dumb. This is a dumb matchup. Um, okay, well... I also use Mud Slap. Damn. Oh no, that- this one's mine. Just kidding. This is not very effective, but maybe it'll be effective because it's strong. Damn. Oh god. 
Okay, I mean... I mean, screw it, just like another one, like, why not? I was really hoping the starters would have been like psychic ghosts and fighting, just to switch it out a bit. It would be nice to, but I'm sure like there is, you know, mechanical reasons for that. Oh, this is where it's at? I was like going the wrong direction, just kidding. Okay, it's up here. And there we go, boom. Thank you for your service. Uh, Starly said someone is going to be rolling out, but it won't be Geodude Peace. <laughs> he was like re real quick with it. He's like, I'm not dying today. Fair. Smart, honestly. Let me see if I, I think I'm gonna crack my back real quick. Ooh. I don't think y'all could hear that because like, I don't think the mic picks it up, but it was insane. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Gonna get this le- Oh, hey, there's uh, that one guy. <laughs> How strong is he though? He seems like he'd be really strong. Let's try to get into like the grass. I bet he's like giant too. I feel like that's gonna be bad. Oh yeah, he's gonna be real strong. Screw it. Ooh. Oh fuck. Oh god, damn. Oh god. Oh! Oh, he's mean. Whoa, no, never mind. Sorry. I did not mean to. Mm -mm. That's fine. I. Nope. Yeah, bye. See you. I did not realize that. This was not the time for me. Yay! Wait, how do I... Shoot. No, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Nope. Also, which way am I going? Oh, hey, one of my Pokemon can evolve. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yay! And by Honestly, when stuff goes wrong, I just walk away. I'm like, you know what? I made a mistake. I didn't know who this was. Yay! Beautiful butterfly! Mm-mm. Where's this marker? Where's this map marker at? Hold on. Um, I gotta go like this way. Can you? You can do it. You can get up. Go ahead. Maybe like across this way. I think. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Um. Oops. Yeah. Oh, there's like, um... This one's different. This one's like... Oh no, is it the same? Is it just another Bidoof or what? No, I think it's just another Bidoof. Here we go. Oh god! Oh, it's scary! Why is it scary?! Where's the information on it? Where's the information on this thing? It's not reading any information. There it goes, there it goes. Level 16? Oh, that's too high. This is too high. Oops. Oh well, um, we're just gonna try it and you know what, if it doesn't work out... Oh... Wow, uh, actually, this was a mistake by a lot, I think. Uh, okay, let's just see what we can do. 
poison though? Strong poison? Okay, you're gonna die, but you're gonna you're gonna help on your way out. Okay, not bad, not bad. No, you're dead now. You're you you've died. Oh, you avoid the attack. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Do we have anything to heal you? Because it would be kind of nice if we did that. Um. Okay. Can be applied. You know what? What? I always, I never use anything. Why don't we actually heal somebody? Let's just. I don't think this is actually going to be a good use of my time, but. <gasps> don't die. Oh. I knew that it would be a waste. I just felt like it was not gonna work out. Okay, it is poison though. Do you have anything that could like put it to sleep? Um. Okay. We do have like thunder, which could be useful. I don't know why. I honestly haven't been noticing the super effective effective call out. Uh, let's go ahead and just see if this will. If I can just get like one more hit in, I think. Just don't kill it. Okay, that's good. This is good. Oh, great. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, I forgot that. That you had a water move. So. Why do I even have to bring anyone out? I don't want to. I don't want to bring anybody out for this. Um. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Go! That is some bullshit. Oh god. I'm sorry, Drivloon! I'm sorry! Oh. Oh no. It was already paralyzed. Is anyone even left? Who is left here? This. this Everyone is dead. You're not gonna be able to do anything. You are not useful. Okay. Um, we're just gonna have to go for it. We're gonna go for it. But also, I have so much stuff in my satchel. What? If they die, I'm not dead, though, right? Let's just try it again. Let's just try it again. You fucking bitch. Yes, there we go. There we go. Should we have done that? No, it wasn't a good use of our time or our resources. But you know what? We did it. We did just fine. Honestly, it was such so rough. Like, let's just go back and we, we need to rest up. It got too crazy. I actually probably should store some items in here because I have like all these items. Um, We have so many items that I shouldn't- I shouldn't just be carrying all this around, I don't think. Um... Let's just put, like, two of them there. And then... We'll put that in storage, because I don't know about it yet. This can go in storage, too. So it's probably better to put this in my home storage, though. You know what? We're just gonna live life, and whatever happens, happens. Like, when we're done with today, we'll, like, start using the storage better. Just a little while. Just a little while. Justin Bieber Bell. That's good. That is actually very good. Actually, it's, it's, like, super dark. I don't like how dark it is. No, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just- we'll just go. It's okay. So, we're back to having to go here. Ooh, there's so many lost sa satchels, though. Look at this satchel that got lost. Okay. Wait, which way is which? I never know which way I'm going. Um, to this way? Doesn't seem right. Kind of. This is like where I came from, but that's okay. That's okay. GG's. That was really a close call. We shouldn't be taking risks like that, but we're going to. I feel the pull to buy this soon. It's- I, I'm really enjoying it. 
I'm gonna play, you know, for the, the rest of stream, obviously. And then that'll put me either at or really close to... Oh god, run. I guess we have to go the other way to where I need to be for Deepest Dive. Um, we're doing like up to the first, like kill the first boss or defeat the first boss or whatever. And then um, side stuff with the rest of the like hours left. I probably won't really have many hours left in terms of that because I've like spent a lot of time already. Um, but um, so then I'm going to stop. We recorded on Tuesday, so I won't play again until after we record on Tuesday. Um, and then, after that, I'm just gonna beam away at it, so we'll see. We'll see if I do any more streams. It's pretty fun to stream, honestly, this game. So we'll see if we get any extra ones in. Probably not, I'm guessing, because I got a lot of games to play through, um, off stream. Wait, I guess this, this is probably my first time streaming a Pokemon game, too, because I don't think I streamed when Sword and Shield came out. You play on Dreaming and Dying Light? Yes, uh, Crimson. Actually, I'm doing a review for it. I do have the game. I am allowed to say that I have the game and that I'm reviewing it. Um, and when the embargo is, which I believe the embargo is February 2nd. I want to say, like, early morning PT, but I forgot what time. So I'm trying really hard. That's a stream just personally. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a form of content. Um, as far as streaming, though, I think I'll be streaming it whenever Friday it comes out. So I would have already beaten it. Um, sometimes I bring Isaiah in for those streams. Um, if you're familiar with Isaiah, my boyfriend who lives with me, like he also games. So sometimes, sometimes I'll bring him in for streams like that so that he can be like the fresh perspective and I can kind of talk about my holistic opinion. Uh, TBD on if he'll show up for this one, but oh yeah, I want this, hold on. Um, so yeah, I'm allowed to say that part. I can't say anything else as far as anything else about the game. Um, but I'm looking forward to sharing my review when, when it never gets written. Hopefully it'll be done in a timely fashion. I really want to hit... Oh no, that's not very effective and I used it. But at least I'm obscured. Um, yes, there you go, avoiding the attack. Like, look at how this is floating though. Like, stuff like that I think is like, mmm, okay. Let's do... Let's do a regular rollout. I don't want to kill it, but I might kill it by accident. Oh, it's dead. It is floating. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? There we go. Ooh, what the heck is that? Something hit me. I think that thing hit me. Oh God, everything is here. Wait. Okay, uh, which way am I going now? Oh, y'all, the... The satchel's somewhere around here. God. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see the satchel. Hold on. Oh, God. You really can't walk up these kind of, like, little cliff sides. Let me get it. Let me get it! Yes! Oh, God. It's hanging from a web. Don't play with him. All right, there can be a canonical reason for that whole thing. I think that's where we came from last time. This is where we're trying to go. At least there's, there doesn't seem to be fall damage, which is convenient. I will say the way you can just kind of jank yourself off of a cliff is like, mm, okay, but hey, I mean, I use it to my advantage, so. All right, we're not gonna fight anything crazy now. We're just gonna live our life. Though also, I'm getting a note. Oh yeah, it's this thing where I can There is fall damage. My friend died earlier doing it. That's how my friend died. Um, okay, good to know then. I wonder how... What is the context of that fall damage then? It's gotta be pretty crazy then, right? So I'm not seeing any, like, damage indicator from it. Okay, let's go here. Okay. And then you already know that, like, low-key, I want to find this... I want to find Richie's satchel, like it's only fair. I know you can drown, so I'm trying to go too far into the water, but... And then we're getting these berries along the way. This is much preferred to like having to shake the trees for the berries from previous games. Also, does anyone know how do you get like pieces of log or wood? <gasps> 
Maybe we can just like straight up just oh no, it knows I'm here, I think. God, why is it like Is this even possible to do? Yay! Oh, yay. You find them around. Yeah, they're just like lying on the ground there, right? I've only- are they rare? I've only found like one piece. I need it to make my dolls. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on now, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, you just kind of find it laying around. I just need to see the, lo the logs randomly on the ground. Okay. Let me see something. Uh, number of times caught. Caught without being spotted. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like a whole little town of them. It's so cute. So far, not too many criticisms, honestly. Uh, really slow, insanely slow start. I wish it started faster. And um, I think I I wish the music was handled differently. There's not a lot of background music, and it kind of makes everything, like, kind of awkward. Oops, I threw an empty Pokeball at that. God, this thing... These things are vicious. Here's Wormpole. Can I make my way up here? It seems really steep, so I'm guessing not. No, how do I get up there? Uh, hey Janet, happy Friday. So are we loving this? Would you recommend the game? So far, based on what I've played, yes, I would recommend it. Um, I don't- I feel like I don't know if I'm loving it. Love's kind of extreme, and I think if you don't know if it's love, that means it's not. At least not yet. Um, but I'm having a really good time. I'm- what I'm looking forward to, and I'm gonna have to wait on this a little bit, because I'm, uh, playing only a little bit, and then doing the deepest dive, and then we're finishing the game. I'm looking forward to, like, really losing myself in this game and just, like, hanging out and digging into it. Wasn't there minimum music in Breath of the Wild? <laughs> Again, with the Breath of the Wild comparison. <gasps> Yo, we're experts at these satchels. I didn't even know we were by the satchel yet, and we freaking were finding it. Look at us here. We're pillars in the community. If you lost your satchel, I will find it out there for you in the wild. Boom. Um, what's next? Like, I have everything ready to go. Um, next lost satchel. What's good? There was, yeah. The comparisons will continue. So I think it's like to the right now. Ooh, I don't know who that is. Oh, there's like, these ones are like the bees. Do I want to just... Screw it, let's just try that. Boom, we caught one, then we're fighting another. Shoot, I don't have space in my satchel for the bee. And this one ran away. <gasps> this sucks. Can you show the full map size? Uh, oh, jeez. So this is like when you zoom all the way out. These are kind of like the big sections. You have like your village. You have where I am now, Obsidian Fields. I don't know how much else appears. And admittedly, if you want like to know that, the best place is probably like a guide or something. Um, and then this is what my actual like map looks like at the time. Where like this is my village, this exit here, and this is what we know of uh, Obsidian Fields so far. Um, but that's all I have so far. They want more time with the game to get lost in the game. That's what I've been hearing from people who are streaming it. Unless you're a diehard Fortnite fan, people seem to really um, like it, but don't know if they love it yet. Yeah, I just finished the crafting quest. Pokeballs are made of acorns and rocks. I know, right? Like I found that kind of weird. Um, this is why I need more satchel space. Okay, it makes sense now. Well, oh, it's Caesar. Caesar. But yeah, I'm liking it so far. Like I like the way that I'm just like kind of walking around and encountering. No, I don't have any- Can I clear up satchel space? This is gonna be a problem. My hoarding has finally caught up to me. Oh god! Oh man! This is like too much. That was unnecessary. 
this kid is styling over here. I'm gonna give it a shot, but not wanting to spend six hours in a game at the moment. I'm Leon. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan. The warden to Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleavor. Am I right? Aren't I? I'm right, aren't I? These were in sight I guess Cleavor's your right. Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. Cleaverly. Um, after all, the powerful, awesome Cleavor has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lighting, lightning the other day was almighty Sinnoh's <laughs> divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor now. I'll do anything. Oh, sure. Earnest desire to meet mighty Cleaver, I have to admit. I'm struck by your passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Arita that I am not to, I'm to let no one near Cleaver. I'll fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can or fate the wrath of Gumi. Oh, I'm Gumi. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense into this foolish troublemaker. I guess it shows, like, the ways that you will still battle some trainers. I, guess I can see Cleaver now. I can see Cleaver now. The rain is... Level 15? Why is he so strong? Excuse me? Why are you so strong? I don't understand. Well, that's gonna be awkward. Um, I guess Drifloon. Okay, let's see. Um, another big thing that's still coming out the games real soon. I'm gonna be all on the horizon. Okay, so what can we do here? At least I get to go a couple times. Astonish the user attacks the target while crying out a startling fashion. A hundred, a hundred. Let's just do this one, and then after that, we'll do hypnosis. Okay. Because maybe it'll go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, no, I didn't. No, it's sleeping. Yes! Or oh, at least got sleepier. Yes! Ha uh ha! -huh. Got him. Okay. Um, now we'll use, I think, oh no, let's just do, we could do Agile Confusion. I don't think Agile Confusion really helps me. We'll just do regular Confusion. Oh, so close. Don't wake up. Of course, of course. Okay, okay, you're doing okay though. Yes, okay, boom, you, you fucked up now. You fucked up now, okay. Uh, I think we can gotta do anything at this point. Let's just go with confusion again, fuck it. Boom. Take that, Gumi, even though you were overleveled. I also like that I feel like there's like a little bit more challenge and layers going on here. At least it's like the surface, like if you're a basic player like me and you're like never paying attention to anything. I'm like, okay, there's like some- I have to think about this a little bit. Uh, but if I'm almost done, it's got- it's gonna- it's gonna take me about four more hours. Um... Let's see, hold on, wait, I missed a couple things. Um, nothing much, just resting up big weekend ahead of me. Feel that? I wanna play Elden Ring next month? Should be ready for bed when I'm finishing up the Sonic Lego. This might be more of a time commitment issue than a monitor issue right now, that's true. Took me 12 hours to build in one sitting, I can understand. Back five, almost done. It's gonna take me about four more hours. Almost there. The game seems really chill, which is what's drawing me to it. The battles in this game are tough. Some of the Pokemon really hit hard. Back six might be your favorite. Um, I like how you build Eggman. Nice. I'd like to build more LEGO stuff, but I feel like I don't have like a good place for them to like be displayed. Um, I mean, you can kind of put them anywhere, but I think if I get some shelving for them, I might get into LEGO. Why is a five year old? Look, the Cleavor was totally innocent until like two days ago. <laughs> Normally I'd simply try to make him an offering, a nice heap of his favorite foods. That's me, of course. 
is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not that... Not that the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleaver were dear, and their cohort drew on almighty Sinnoh's Sin own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it's sad. So it's said, it's by their grace that our clan, that any of us still lives in the vast Hisui today. Arena, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver has grown even stronger, but I'm afraid this strength possesses a problem for us. If he is indeed struck by that lightning, could these bolt if he was indeed struck by that lightning, could these could the bolts have been sent by the false Sano that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleaver must mean so much to our clan. I'd hoped we could bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond a Clan and the Galaxy Team. You stranger from- I don't know how to do a little kid voice. You stranger from beyond the sky? Tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord's friend- our Lord's frenzy? I don't know. Just do the horror. <laughs> Um, I'll figure something out. Very well. Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleavor in the hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of the vast Tsui. I'm sure how basic and nice this game looks at the same time. The arc phone is beeping. Your arc phone is beeping. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camp in an instant. Ooh, fast travel. Okay, hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Press X while controlling map to instantly travel to base camps and locations. However, be aware this feature may not be useful in some situations. Yep, classic fast travel. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Ooh. Okay, um, I'm gonna be so mad if Clear is the coolest Pokemon of all time. Head to base camp and report what you've learned. Is it only this one base camp or? Bless you, thank you. I thought I could already do that. Okay. Good to see you. How's, how's the research into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, is that so? Now that's quite a tidbit. So serving his favorite foods would normally make Cleaver quite agreeable. Is that it? I need to mull this over back at the lab laboratory. And you should come along too, dear girl. Okay. Did you accidentally buy Pokemon Legends Cleaver instead? <laughs> Honestly, it kind of it kind of is that. People are really excited about this Pokemon. Well, I'm gonna change the setting now. Oh, uh, Rhetoric Prof, thanks for the follow. Alright, so according to the information you were able to learn from Arita and Leon of the Pearl Clan, where were this the normal course of events that Frenzy Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods? I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver but draw him back from his frenzy? But by your own report, when Cleaver's warden who looks after Cleaver knows him well cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment if you, if you would. I need time to ponder this. Hmm. 
There ought to be some something in my research notes that can help us. Again, him being at this board is pretty funny to me. This is also like me when I'm putting off writing an article. It's just like... Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food! You've got quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Janet? Might I suggest you take some of Cleaver's favorite food and throw them at the Pokémon? Makes sense. Any time to ponder. Yes, it's all coming together. You can use your, our skill in Pokéball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved food into balls and then throw them into the, achieving the same calving effect but from afar. A brilliant idea if I do say so myself. And for what to call these yummy projectiles? How about tea time balls? Put one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, doesn't it? Are you sure, Professor? They're your own inventions. Why not call them Laventon Laventon balls? Oh my, with a name like that, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should hurry back to the Grand... wherever. Okay, cool. Uh, work with Leanne to... okay, make the food. I actually wouldn't mind some space in the satchel, but I don't want to pay for it. I gotta put some stuff in my house, though. Like, my satchel is just, like, it's just overflowing. I can't handle it. I can evolve my starter to its final form now. Nice! That's quite the progress. Um, I think I'd, I'd put stuff in here. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say, like, most stuff. Just because... What is this? Extreme, uh, this herb... Uh, we're just gonna put that in storage, too. Oh, we can just move, hit move all. Okay. Let's just put everything in storage and then decide what we want to keep. Potion, the berry... I feel like we have berries everywhere. Uh, maybe the big potion we'll take. Yeah, we'll just take all three. Let's just leave it at that. Maybe the acorns? Maybe we're just like... Mm. Oops, I should just put all. What else is needed to craft the, the Pokeballs? Is the tumble stone? Um, let me try to look what's the crafting situation. Oh, it's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like, up and then... The red tumble stone. Like this thing. Move all at once. Sure. Hey, you're digging the game so far. I'm liking it, uh, good game, Geo. It's fun. Can you customize the furniture? Not that I know of, at this point. Any tips for members? Do you wish the toys to be gotten diligent? Record saving can keep- just says to save. Yeah, not that I know of so far. I would love that, but I have not seen that happen yet. I really hope that you can customize your house, though. That would be really good. Oh, you get a house in this game? Yeah, that's my house! Um, I don't know if you can do much else. You can go to the mirror and change your clothes and stuff. Damn, I would buy a copy, uh, whatever, whatever I have right now. Yo, uh, Polish, uh, Dova, how's it going? Uh, thank you so much for the raid with a party of three. What's good? Welcome in, raiders. Uh, my name is Jan Garcia, aka Game Onesis. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I do a bunch of stuff outside of, um, you know, streaming here as well in terms of gaming content. I stream on Fridays and Saturdays at 3 p.m. PT, generally speaking. Uh, and Friday is Best of 2022 Watch, where we play the latest game in search of the greatest games. And, um, Saturday is usually, like, a long-form Let's Play. Right now I'm playing Outer Wilds. Um, I won't be streaming tomorrow, though, because I'm working on, uh, writing my review for Dying Light. And playing through Dying Light and all that stuff, so. And that'll be up on Pen and Pixels on... I think the embargo is, like, February 2nd, but I don't have the date in front of me, so don't quote me on that. Uh, but yeah. Welcome in. How was, uh, Arceus? 
we're just, you know, still in the early phases. We haven't met Cleavor yet, but we know we know of him and uh, all of his deeds. <laughs> Uh, how do you like the new Pokemon so far? I like it a lot. I'm having fun. Um, the guys teams got themselves in the Grand Headquarters. I'll give them that. I'm enjoying the new structure of like how to interact with like catching and battling. It did take like a little bit of getting used to, I feel like, of, okay, these are how my goals are different than the mainline games I'm used to, but I like that change. It's nice to have that home base too. Like, I'm, you know, I feel like you can do some of the simmy stuff a bit quicker. Um, I'm enjoying it. What about you? I had some news you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on. Let's head to, what do you call it, the Heights Camp? Okay, what's gonna happen here? The first EV I call it, I have been enjoying too, like seeing, like randomly seeing Pokemon out in the world, which that's not new, the franchise, but just like walking through and being like, oh my God, there's a Geodude. There's like a, whatever the B one is and like all these other Pokemon that I just kind of feel like I'm stumbling across. I spoke to Rurdeer, oh. I spoke to Weirdeer about what's been going on. I told him you've been trekking all over the field lands, seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even a part of our clan or the Pearl clan, just some wanderer who fell through the rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weirdeer has found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for her my... This is very important, so listen well. <laughs> That's the Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on Wordier so you can ride upon him. It said the Celestica flutes were gifts from Almighty Sano itself, and now this one's yours. Sounds like a Willy Wonka flute trail. trail. Celestica flute. The flute can be used to call special Pokemon. Okay. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flutes for my life. See if you can play that melody. He sounds mean. Rudy opened his heart and learned well the sound of you playing. Oh man. You received the mind plate from Rudy. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of a psychic type. Okay. Now use that Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great rear deer. You've got a frenzy poem on a quell at Grand Tree Are Arena to tap. Don't you? Whatever. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Uh, with rear deer, you can gallop. With rear deer, you can gallop across the fields lands in no time. Sounds like Zanakis. You can call rear deer and gallop across the land. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. This one a Pokemon to ride. Be sure to stay alert for wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places when you're writing about. I guess that's the fall damage that you're all talking about. Okay, hold on. All right, let's see. Oh my god, I love him! Hell yeah, this is, this is what it's all about right here. Can I just like run over some of the other Pokemon? Probably not. Oh man, look at this. Now, this is something. Look at him go! Such majesty, such grace. Oops! Oh no! I didn't want to leave. Uh, where do I have to go? I have to go over here? Oh, I can just like, travel here though, right? Or maybe I can't. Um, which way do I need to go? This is kind of the right way. No! Okay. I'm gonna try to just like run through here. Hopefully no one hits us on the way. Yeah! And then... 
We're gonna like cut. Oops. I do wish there was like a mini map, at least as an option. Would be kind of nice. Oh no, is this a dead end? Oh, not, not fully. It's just kind of like difficult to get down. Would this be a fall? Oh, no, it's okay. He's, he's okay. Oh, he can jump! Is this a satchel? No, it's an iron chunk. Someone else lost their satchel. Okay, we gotta keep an eye out for this satchel. Hopefully we can avoid this thing. No, leave me alone! Leave me alone! You can do it, you can walk through it. Here's the satchel. Yo, we're like killing it now with this satchel. Oh god. Okay, hold on. I want to... Boom. Okay, now where do we gotta go? Now we're actually going to what we need to do, which is here. Um... Okay. Ooh, he's got some hops. Like, I will say, like, the jump- the, the, an the animation in the feel here is a little bit, like, stiff. But it's not necessarily bad, it just feels kind of, like, janky. Um... Okay, here we go. I think even from the look, you can tell it, like, it looks a little bit awkward. Uh, so you say the gal- so you say the galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy? What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods and throw the offerings at him? That's quite an orthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness blows me away. I mean, you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite Plump beans. I've brought them as promised. Okay. God, that's right. My apologies, Rita. I'd forgotten all about you. I admit, we haven't been able to solve this ourselves. We seem to have little to no choice but to turn to Galaxy Team. Plump beans. <laughs> exactly. But I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy teams don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the... <laughs> What the fuck? You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in our little Pokeballs, but on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as my sister, as one of my blood. What is with the family drama with these trainers? They're like, literally, this Munchlax is my fucking brother. Like, this thing is my sister. What is going on? What is this unhealthy attachment to these Pokemon? I don't even know who's lined up as my first Pokemon at this point. <gasps> oh, you got a bad bitch. Damn, you got a bad bitch, and I got Geodude? Mm. What level are you, fucking 20? 17, bitch? Okay. Why is everyone so stacked? I don't even know if I, if, if Cleavor's, if this is any indication of how Cleavor's gonna be, I don't even want to fight him. If I would've got to use Rock, though, it would've been crazy. I didn't, wasn't even fully healed for this. This is awkward. Cyndaquil. You gotta do this. You gotta carry the whole team, because I... Just let me get one shot in. Okay, let's see. Um... Please at least leave Burn, because I know you're gonna die. It missed! Woo! Okay, you're still alive. You're still alive. You're still alive. Ember it up again. There we go. Boom. It's over. Battle decided. Okay. What's up, the Pongba? How's it going? I see now, Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. That is all it took? Are you, am I the first person you battled in your life? I don't understand. 
You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better trusting you now, I think. Let me see your Pokemon's wounds. The free heals are very nice. Now explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? Oh, I'm just gonna chuck them at him. So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've developed soothing balms to sort of calm our lord. What is... I am kind of here for this story, though. I'm not gonna lie. Very well. If it'll soothe Cleaver... Cleaver's frenzy. Let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. This is the most invested I've been in this fucking story in, in these Pokemon games. There, a veritable mountain of bombs. Veritable? A veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself. I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go for it. Let's just try to square up against Cleavor right now. I'm rocking with Geodude and Cyndaquil and everyone's weak as fuck. I'm guessing Cleavor's gonna whoop my ass, but... Our mighty Cleavor, lord of the woods, though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. I've been so excited to see you, Pokemon. I've never been so excited. <laughs> Benevolent lord who works... Benevolent Lord who works his mighty might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal to our eyes. Listen well, uh, listen well, Janet. Keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. This is so dumb. Okay. Slipping into Toad their LMFAO. He's doing the Naruto run? Geodude don't got a shot with the Lord of the Woods. I'm gonna bring it down like a tiny little bit. To calm, to claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its friends that you have to throw bombs at it until the frenzy reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out a Pokemon to battle against it. Interesting. Win the Pokemon battle and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective. Okay, so I want to throw the bombs. Get the gauge to zero. Then I throw a Pokemon. Um, and... Okay, and then I use more bombs? It seems hard. Why does this whole game feel like it has an Instagram filter on it? It kind of does have that. Oh! 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 Oh, God. He's scary. Uh, fuck it. Geodude. Geodude! Oh, God. Geodude gonna get his ass whooped. I'm sorry, Geodude. Oh, my God. Level 18, bitch. Bitch, you gonna die. Woo! Oh, you're still alive. Okay, okay. We really shouldn't be doing this because... You know, he's gonna die after this, so we're just gonna go strong style. And again, maybe I'll throw the bombs to quell his plump beans. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we dead now. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, no, we're dead now. That's fair. Honestly, we took out half his health, though. Okay. okay, let's see. Who do we got? Uh, I mean, the rock. So, rock is gonna be good here. Do we want to bring out Cyndaquil already? Why is Cyndaquil, like, dead still? Why is everyone, like, hurt? I thought I got healed. This is some bullshit. Okay. Um, well, that sucks. Because now I'm kind of fucked now. Um... Ugh, this is awkward. Ugh, honestly, let's just... Let's just fuck- let's just fuck with this guy out here. Oh, is that- so what it was- what was I looking at then? Um, okay, well, it, it- it's too late. This guy's already out there. Oh, I was looking at the level! Oh, thanks. Okay, that makes more sense. Poison's not effective, but if he gets poison, that would be kind of lit. Um... 
Fuck it, let's just go with confusion for now. I think we have to kill him a couple times, though. I don't think it's enough to kill him once. We're probably gonna need to level up, but I just wanted to give this a try. Okay. Oh, yeah, now I see it. You're right, I am healed. Okay. If Cyndaquil dies, though, I die. Like, I can't handle that. Um, okay, fuck it. We can get two... Oh, the Pokedex not very effective, though. Fuck it, let's just go with this rollout. It's supposed to be really good. Oh, so close. So close. So close. Oh, no! <laughs> They're just really weak. Well, now I know Cleaver's level routine, so we could just grind to get there. Okay, who's left? Not seeing a lot of names here. Um, this thing. I think I have to kill him multiple times, too. I don't think it's enough to just, like, do it once. So that's awkward, but... See, now I'm just throwing the bombs at it. Like, look at how strong this thing is. Yeah, we have no chance. Oh, God. Woo! Oh. I got hit too, damn. Oh, I dodged, but it didn't work. I'm just like, oh lord, he's coming. I don't even have anyone left. <laughs> I guess this guy. He don't got no powers, he's level 13. <gasps> don't die. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, um, yeah, we definitely gonna have to come back at this because, mm -mm. We're just gonna go out. We're gonna let everybody die because there's no point in trying to use items to do all this. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, who's left? We don't got many people left here. Um, okay. I wonder, can I heal them in between though? Because maybe I could just jank my way through life. Um, okay. Hypnosis would be good, though. Let's... Oh, it doesn't do any damage, though, but it would be good if it worked. Let's try Hypnosis. Let's try Hypnosis. Oh my god, he avoided the attack. That is crushing. A devastating blow. And the splinters dug into me. Anima a balloon, so like, what is that gonna tell you? Okay. You know what, fuck it. Just... Oh! Yeah, I'm dead now, bye. Okay, is anyone even left? Yeah. Oh god, he's dead. Oh no, he's still alive. Oh, I have splinters. I have splinters. Okay. Let's go, there's no chance. Cause I think I have to do this like a third time too. Oh, you bitch. Oh, yay. Oh, but the splinters hurt me. Oh, I'm dead now. The splinters got me. Oh, they still have me squaring up with him? That's kind of funny. Can I just heal them, though? Oh, I don't have anything to heal them. Oh, wait, I do, I do, I do. Do we want to... Do we want to try to just jank our way through this? Or do we want to just come back stronger? We're really underleveled. Jank, you're like, you know what? Why not? Everyone's dead, though. I don't think I have anything to revive anybody. I don't think I have a way to actually bring anyone back from being fainted, is the thing. 
Right? Like, this doesn't work on fainted Pokemon. Right? Don't- right? I'm right, right? Because you can't use potions on, like, people that already fainted. Like, can you? I don't think you can. Let's just test it. Because I don't- I don't think you can. Also, who's... Yeah, okay, no. Okay. Alright, well... I'm- <laughs> do I- can I just walk away? Like, never mind, y'all. He was crazy. Oh, shit. How do I get out of here, though, then? Can I just... Wait, well, let me just... Oh, they won't... How do they... Can I get out of here? Can I just fight it with these bags? Oh! It's just me versus him now. Oh god. It's just me against him. Oh, he's crazy. Literally, we're just gonna square up. Oh god, this is so dumb. Oh! 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 Can you kill him this way? Oh! Oh. Oh, he got me. He got me real good! Oh, he's crazy! Hold on! I can't call his frenzy! Yo, Cleaver's crazy though. I can't- I can't- I have no one to send into battle, it's just me. Did that work? Did this actually- did this count?! Bitch, that's crazy. Yo. We ain't need our Pokemon. It's just me. I am out here slinging these bean bags and doing that thing. Wait, hopefully don't fight me. Don't fight me though. Don't fight me because I don't got no one left. Don't actually square up on me because I can't do it. I did a count. Yo. We did it. We did it. We were under leveled. And we got through it anyway. There we go. The way he just ran away was so funny. What happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzy mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that strange li Oh. Does this confirm that strange li <laughs> I can't do their voices. Was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Dance Hacker be proud. You love to see it. <laughs> well, this is what I think. After all we've seen, we know strange lightning came from out of space time rift from the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into the frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space time. Oh, the lightning came from the space time rift. <laughs> um, but if Sano really does dwell beyond the space time rift, then the strange lightning, it indeed was almighty Sano's power. Then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool outrageous. Ca uh, calm yourself, Leah. <laughs> Calm yourself, Leon. Remember, the Lord of Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Woods' power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn us, turn us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Jan accomplished just now, it indeed needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm, yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please, take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and a token of my thanks. Is it money? Because that's- I would like money. Three citrus berries? I mean, I guess. 
Let me care for your Pokemon as well, in appreciation for fighting on your behalf. On our behalf. I think I've finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. It seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. That's so weird. Um, okay, cool. We end just like that, almost with perfect timing. We are done. She gave you a fruit basket. <laughs> yeah, at least with th this element. So that's the first boss. Um, wait, where do they want me to go? I think they want me to go back, right? Oops. Report to Commander Kamado when you have finished the mission. That's like back home, right? Oh gosh, go here? I think so. Um... My findings. It's probably not much, but... Okay. Okay, head back to the village. Alright, so I'm just gonna head back to the village and hopefully they'll let me go to sleep. Or like, lay down, cause... I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what have you there? Could it be? Are those two of the fabled plates of old? Please, let me take a look. I see you have some letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says, Where all creation was born, that is the beginning place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? I see. So you were given the plates when you impressed Wordier and Cle Cleavor. <laughs> that is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you'll find more plates like these scattered across Hisui. If we were to gather all of them and decipher the scripts, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. And what a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. Okay, cool. Let me go to my house. Also, actually, let me take a picture before we leave. And take a picture with our Pokemon. Uh, we'll use the old filter, I guess. They only have the nostalgic and the plain one, which is kind of whack. In general, this whole thing I'm kind of like not that into, but... Uh, let's pick a Pokemon to take a picture with. Um, We could still stick with Cyndaquil. I think Drifloon's kind of fun. See what the blue screen looks like. Um, I guess just take the photos. Hmm, let's do that one's fun. Arms open high. So far, I think I'll do either hands behind back or folded. Probably behind back, I think. But let's look at what the other poses are. At the ready is pretty good. I already did brace for the battle. I did over the shoulder yesterday. Hero pose. I find this one so funny. Sitting plainly, you're like on a bench. It's so stupid. Um. Okay, let's do arm. Let's do hands behind the back. And then let's do. Is I taking. Oh my god. Re, okay, rhetoric prof. I literally said the same comment yesterday to my family. It's literally. It's giving Sears. Like, it's giving freaking. What other stores is that? JCPenney. Like, it's just really weird. Uh, okay, let's see. Look fierce. What's fierce look like? What's happy look like? What was fierce, I guess? Are you happy? What 
what are the other options? Oh, these are all the options? Sure, I guess. And then shooting is weird because you literally just hit capture. That seems good enough. All right. Elk's catalog. Um, all right, let's go to my house. Just for kind of end our time there. As we should. Hopefully it, just, it says I can rest. Actually, I'll just stay here for now. Because when I rest, I'm just going to lay down and get back up. Um, all right, y'all. That was Pokemon Arc. Arceus. That's so hard to say to me. Um, it's fun. I like it. So far, I recommend it. I am still very early, so there is that element of it. Um, ooh, this is fun. I think... I think Casey... Oh, Casey just went live, like, uh, 17 minutes ago. So I think we're gonna go ahead and raid Casey. Um, because we don't always get a chance to do that. What's funny, too, is I went to her, her stream right now, and it's literally playing an uh, ad for this game. <laughs> um... So that's kind of amusing. But yeah, Casey is working on the guide. So that'll be fun. And Casey's like such an expert. I think to this day, Casey might be the most knowledgeable Pokemon person I know, to be honest. Uh, it's kind of wild. So let's go head over to Casey's channel um, after this. But before we go, I do want to, um, again, mention that normally I stream tomorrow, but I will not be streaming tomorrow as I'll be working on my uh, Dying Light 2 review. Um, but before I leave, I do want to give a shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. You too can join over on patreon.com slash We have rewards as low as the $1 all the way up to the $25, like the sponsor tier right here where you get a shout out, just like um, Biscuits with Davey, Black Lumberjack, Edwin Garcia, Jesse Clark, Kevin Fair, Margarita Castillo, Nina McKee, uh, Play Jason, Rantan, Spencer Castellano, and OMGLX. Thank you for that gifted sub over to Unfamous Amos. Let's go ahead and give a rate to Shiny Casey, uh, one of my old coworkers, friend, wonderful person and Pokemon expert. Um, I am so curious to know what she thinks of this game and she's playing right now. So go ahead over for that raid. Even if you can't stay for the entirety of her stream, uh, it'd mean a lot if you would just stop by, say hello, spam those tier one emotes if you have them. And I will see y'all here next time. Bye. <laughs>